tena tena mudi kumtambua baba yetu baba yake eh mheshimiwa amefika sasa hivi bwana Mololo naomba upongee mikono sana sana baba yetu ndio huyu amefika anaitwa Mololo anaitwa Mololo kama mtangazaji hapa sande sana kuna familia imewa wameshafika kwa hivyo tunawakaribisha wote pamoja na huku tukiendelea kumbuka nilikuwa na mtambua hapo mbeleni aliyekuwa ngavana naibu ngavana wetu madam Adelina Mwao ambao yuko hapa tunakuenzi vile vile anafanya kazi katika serikali ya rais Ruto sande sana karibu sana e, sasa hivi vile vile kwa kuna chorus tutakuwa naona wananiambia wameketi sana tungekuwa na chorus kidogo DJ ungeta tutatoa beat moja maridadi zaidi ili angalau wachangamuke wengine wameniambia wameketi sana yani vizu tuweze kuimba chorus yani vizu tuweze kuimba chorus moja pamoja tutafutie beat ambao ni mufti kabisa nikanao zikidia ni twachanga mko vaini tuendee kwetu na mheshimiwa wengine wameniambia wameketi sana na ungependa kama wameiba pamoja chorus nzuri moja ama mbili ili mheshimiwa akiwa karibu itakuwa na wajuza ili tuweze kuendelea kutoka hapa karibuni asante sana DJ tuendelee ama ukipata beat utaniwekea ili tuweze kuendelea kutoka asante sana DJ Ai ni mai tuonda na mapiki sio tipu yetina na ni bado kujisaidia kule nyuma baada ukifika usiangaike kule na makabisa gari zinaingezwa katika uwanja wa secondary school kule sande DJ kare
tunaendelea kuiminika sasa hivi na bila shaka vile vile kwa umbali na waona viongozi wa kanisa ya katoliki Catholic Men Association wa vile vile wakimalia mavazi yao rasmi wako pale na vile vile Catholic Women Association wako pale na wageni wakiendelea kuingia hapa tunaomba tutulie ili angalau tuweze kuwajuza vile mambo yanavyoendelea Mwenzangu Musambi anaweza kupatia zaidi. Hai. Anaomba tu muende ile sana. Tuende ile sana. Very good. Ah, uh, waundu mwebwa Bishop Nwabika na wakati wowote tutaanza ibada. Kwa hivyo sasa unaona kwaya wanajipanga, watumishi wa Mungu pande zote wamejipanga. Na nigeomba kwa heshima sasa kama umevaa kofia uvue kwa sababu ni wakati wa mas lakini kama unafaa kuivaa endelea kuvaa sana sana kina dada alafu pia tunaomba DJ atuweke nyimbo za kikatoliki in preparation na tujue sasa tuko katika nyumba ya Mungu tumwabudu kwanza alafu tuendelee baadaye kwa hivyo sasa ningependa tujiandae kabisa na wale wa kukule nje waingie ndani tusiwe na kutembea tembea kwingi so that we give our servants of God a chance to lead the mass asante DJ ongeza hiyo volume DJ tumesema tuweke nyimbo za katoliki sasa kwa sababu ni wakati wa ibada Naomba pia kupeana guidance kidogo DJ unapoendelea kutafuta muziki. Naomba tafadhali nipende guidance vile tutakavyofanya wakati procession itakapoanza. Bishop akianza pale nyuma tuangalie kule sote. Bishop akianza kutembea atazunguka mpaka aje ya padani wakati ule tutakuwa tumesimama kwa sababu ibada itakuwa imeanza rasmi hilo ndio kwanza la pili naomba kabisa kunyenyekevu tafadhali tuweze kuweka simu zetu katika silent mode ili isije ikalia ngoma ya katibui wakati mas inaendelea ni rais sana bishop babi nafike hapa na akisema tuibue mikono uanze kusikia ni wazuri hii baina Amen. Jambo la tatu naomba magari yafuatayo tafadhali yaondolewe yawekwe upande huu wangu wa kulia huko nyuma kabisa. KBQ 975M, KDD 188A, KCY 877H, KCB 546Z, KCK 607U, KCK 521A, KDJ 010V, K Seven seven three U K C Y two seven four D K D P five forty four L K D D five eighty five A T eight hundred D L H K C C two zero eight W K C W seven ninety J na K C X zero eighty eight A. Tafadhali tu yao ndoe magari kule kwa sababu zaki dini na heshima tuweke upande wangu wa kulia. Thank you very much. Sasa DJ tupepuzipo kikatolika.
hapo ndipo viongozi wetu wakuu wa serikali wanakuja na kuongoza zao. Kwa hiyo kwa jeshi hakuna gari lolote linaloruhusiwa kwa upande wangu kwa kushoto. Kama ungependa gari lako
tusijeni ili tusije tukashangaa ningependa kueleza Jambo la pili iwapo kuna entertainment group ambayo iko hapa na ingependa kutukumbisha inione kwanza unione kwanza ili niweze kuelewa nyimbo zenu ingeze kuika kwa sasa hapa pale kwa hivyo jo unione ili nipatie nafasi kwa sasa asanteni sana na tuendelee kushirikiana
wakati wote sasa nafahamisho PS3 mgeni wetu wa heshima atakuwa anaingia hapa ili tukushangilie kwa makofi na vigelegele vifijo wembe madaha na mahanja ya hali ya juu kwa sababu ni siku yake lakini kwa sababu pia ni wakati wa kumwabudu Mungu kuna bwana mmoja hapa anaitwa Nicholas Musembi nataka nimpe nafasi tafadhali anaitwa Musembi sio Musambi Musambi ndio mimi yeye ni Musembi nataka tumpe nafasi atuonyeshe vile Daudi alicheza hadi nguo zake zote zikaanguka DJ mpe goma yake mpe goma ya kasozo tayari tafadhali unijulishe go find out kulingana na kanuni za Katoliki wanaomba waende kule wakaanze pamoja ndio wataongoza msafara wa bishop hawa ni tangible dancers wale watoto wadogo ndio wataongoza pale kwa hivyo tunaomba kwa heshima maendo ba hapa ambiwe uise kwidia ni mama Medhambe wakimuongoza baba Askofu kumbuka watapitia hapa katikati tienda mwikalele sabiu uise kwidia bwi mama nenga mwanya museo mabitite uise kwidia mambo iko sawa kabisa e DJ tunaomba kwa heshima tuende pamoja ili angalau tukikuelegeza hivi unafanya mambo haraka iwezekana asante sana DJ tumetulia sana kwa hivyo tunaomba
kwa heshima kwa ya zetu kama ingewezekana sasa hivi mngeendelea na mazoezi ili kuweza eh, kujiandaa kwa misa takatifu kwa ya viongozi wa kwaya na wao na mko pale kama kanuni ya kanisa letu ya katoliki huwa wanaendelea na mazoezi kidogo na vile vile awali tangible dancers watakuwa pale nyuma ndio wataongoza msafara wa baba askofu akiwa pamoja na mapadri wale wengine watapitia katikati ya jukwaa na watapitia katikati ya dais hapa mpaka hapa kwa hivyo tunakuwa tunaomba kwa heshima wale wako karibu na hii njia wakae macho angalao wasiwatatize kwa hivyo kwa ya zetu wakiunguzwa na viongozi wetu pale wako haya unafasi sasa hivi wakati ni wewe asante sana
Nivia Mheshimiwa Musale Budabadi mkuu wa mawaziri Felix Kuske ambaye ni mkuu wa utumishi wa umma CSS PSS na wabunge pamoja na maseneta kwa hivyo viti vilivyo mbele tutaviachia hao kutoka row number 2 upande huu Nivi hao nimetaja pia davadi ya PS wetu Terebaika nikasema to my extreme left kutoka row number badi ya DP lakini tukija hii side kutoka line 2 kurudi nyuma ya mheshimiwa Terry na ndio maana tumeanza na ndio maana tumeanza tukasema upande ule wangu wa kushoto haya kuna kijana hapa anaitwa Father Dadi na DJ wacha kwanza kuna kijana anaitwa Father Dadi tungependa tupe nafasi atuchangamshe e, ambia mwenzako usicheke sana chaka kidogo tu karibu sana Mbaika 
neka na telimbaika ato ngwezi ya kia nyaboliku akamba nengwenda mumbiru kese sukulu nendia nemo selena nendu katene evi ndaya matokio na nendia david engela nyoni na yo selekane ya nsiyako lika university ta independent candidate na kwa kitimichunge pa umana pa umangilika na kiboko na kuna wani mwalimu na kia angu na kitimba na mkulia aku na kia imbia aku notondo kwa una nandese kana utundo wika la kitimbani na mdewa yendea na kuoka nesa kwa kwe na sabuni opa kwa kitimba kinenebe fatha ndati eka endi ni tani thie baitu andu mama kuweni ndana lika munone ndani mwele siya ukia wawa tububu na nguku tububu na nguku ni mendi ya mavao ni maku semba na endi tububu tuwa kwa kwa ni witu uo kamwe kaiko ya tatu nginsama katu sani thie mananuwa metike na kume bindazu tububu tuwa muatu kako matu kulumene megeze kuitika mama kuweni tuko maitu kulumene William Ruto na telimbaika matweke sabuni na kiyote kisiyo cha kenya yonde kwa nchumula na muke ya sakuwa mungu kule na kwezima na ya hunde kuya mwekipa na kuya mwekipa yuma watende itiko wa mwene leta wa mwete ya sabdeni Kijana ganga ni kabisa, sadili sana, asanti sana Habari kibu zaidi, bado tumeangalia polipuli na burudani Naomba mama masi, ikuwa juku tayari, ajuku shukani Na vile vile evangel timutu kutia kwa pibi Na vile vile tuwakua tunayonyesha hapa wakati wa sadaka kwa hiyo Siangaiki, kwa hiyo karibuni sana Tuakua tunawalikeza muja kwa muja Kwa kikisha pamba siku hii Yama wakatua lati ditanjiko Utakua kwa kufana zaidi Mama Masi, wakati na mama Baina yao na mama Masi na Jerusha Sami ni eh, kuna evangelist mutie alikuwa kutayari utafika mbele eh, wakati ni wako wa burudani sasa hivi kisha baadaye tutakuwa tunaomba kwa yetu wataendelea asante sana Yerusha na saudia da kutupatia wimbo Na wamba kukufabisha kumba Tayari Tayari Mawaziri wetu wawili Wamesha ingia wako hapa tayari Mweshimu wa Penina Malonza yuko ndani Mweshimu wa Moses Kuri yuko ndani Na PSS Balibali wanazidi kuingia Na wakati wote msafara utatirimkia pale Viongozi wetu wakiingia ndiyo tuwanze rasmi Ndiyo mana tumechelewa kidogo Tukisubiri wale abawa liko natoka Nairobi Niyombe na nirudie kwa mara nyingine Na timu yetu ya protoko na security Mwakikishe mambo ya takuenda vile tumepanga Line ya kwanza yote iko sawa Na una iko sawa sasa Kutoka upande ule ni PSS Hapa ni CSS hapa tuko na mwishimu wa Terry, tuko na mwishimu wa Musalia, tuko na mwishimu wa Koskei Hapa tuko na Governors, hapa tuko na Senators na MPs katika Line 1 Na nikasema Line 2 this side Kwenda nyuma ni familia, ikiongozo na baba ya PS Terry Lakini Line 2 hapa katikati ni ya security ya viongozi wetu waliombele Line 3, 4 and 5 Hiyo ni ya directors, chairpersons, CEOs Pamoja na 
viongozi wale wengine wa board mbalimbali ndio wakiwa recognized wanasimama kwa pamoja mahali pamoja pale mwisho kutoka line, uh, line three, kurudi nyuma ni viongozi wa kanisa now pale nyuma ya mpiga picha pale nyuma ya mpiga picha hivyo vitu vyote vilivyo hapo ni vya wale ambao watakuwa katika procession na bishop kwa sababu lazima waketi wakiingia kwa hivyo viti vilivyo nyuma ya camera guys the media ni vya hao sasa naona viongozi wetu wameanza kuingia so tutaburudishwa sasa na msanii Jerusha nafikiri ni yeye alafu nitawaambia wakati wa kusimama Evangelist Mutie na kuitaji
hawezi kutuelekeza bili baada itakuwa mimi nitarejea baadaye kwa kipindi cha pili tunaona aya asante asante mwenzangu Bon Musambi na bila shaka sasa hivi tutakuwa tunaelekea kwa ibada ambayo inaitwa inajulikana kama misa takatifu kumbuka misa takatifu leo itaongozwa na baba askofu wa diocese yetu mpya ya Uote kwa wageni wetu ambao umefika siku ya leo na huku wakijiandaa tunakuwa tunaomba wote tusimame ili angalau watumbe moja kwa moja kwa kutuzeshe mpaka hapa kwa hivyo nitakuwa na wajumza wakiingia kule nyumba tu moja kwa moja tutakuwa tunasimama ili angalau kuandamana na wao na naomba kwa heshima tukianza misa takatifu naomba kila mmoja wetu atulie kila mmoja wetu atulie hakuna kutembea tembea ili angalau kuhakikisha kwamba misa imekuwa ya kufana zaidi. Wale tulio kule nyuma tunaomba tuketi baba askofu yuko karibu kuingia.
the Bishop, Catholic Diocese of Wote, priests present, religious men and women, our very own, the chief guests today, P.S. Teli Baika, and the protocol observed. Good morning. I take this opportunity to invite you all to our today's Thanksgiving Mass, where we come to thank God for the gift of his life and mercy. Thank God for choosing P.S. Terry Baikan and to bless our appointment and the work that God has granted her that she may undertake as per God's will. Praying for our family, praying for us all as we continue also to pray for our country. And at this juncture, allow me to invite the father in charge, Catholic Parish uh, Mukuyuni, who will invite us all to this important occasion and in a special way invite our bishop to lead us with the mass and the prayers of the day. Karipat. Your Lordship, Right Reverend Paul Kariukijiro, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Wote, Reverend Fathers present here, our brothers and sisters of other denominations who have joined us into this celebration. I extend a word of welcome. Honorable, honorable members, and in a special way, Terry Baika, the Principal Secretary on Devolution, the Kenyan government. She is the one who has made us to gather here in this place in order to assist her to thank God, to thank the Almighty God for her successful life, which she has attained through God's assistance. And therefore, it's good to say thanks to the Lord. Tondo kiti kisu kitu kitu ya nuseo kutungia mwea mwea. Ladies and gentlemen, I now take this opportunity to humbly request uh, our beloved bishop, who is also the shepherd of this diocese, to lead us in the Eucharistic celebration. Babarskovu, karibu sana, ili utuongoze kwa hii, kwa hii bada takatifu ya misa. Tumpikie makovi, makovi kwa askovu, karibu sana askovu. wimbo wa kuanza misa tafadhali kwaya ni wimbo wa kuanzisha misa
Uangalie kwa wema wale wanaotutawala ili kwa ukarimu wako pawepo popote duniani ustawi wa jamii uhakika wa amani na uhuru wa dini tunaomba hayo kwa jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa mtakatifu Mungu daima na mire
ya kwasa ni moni mumanyithite aleluya Bwana hawe nanyi. Somo la injili takatifu lilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Mathayo. Ni Mathayo wa sura ya 17 kuanzia mstari wa 10 hadi 13. Waliposhuka kutoka mlimani wafu akawaambia kweli Elia anakuja kutengeneza yote lakini nawaambieni Elia amekwisha kuja isipokuwa hawakumtambua mtasame vizuri muangalie vizuri can you ask him or her are you original or a photocopy umesema nini original from god no one is a photocopy 
no one is a photocopy. Original from God, a masterpiece of God. Wakati Mungu aliamua aliamua kuumba. Alipoamua kuumba wewe, hakutafakari juu ya mtu mwingine. Alitavakali juu yako tu. That is why you are original, not a photocopy. This world we about 7 billion or they are about and no one who is like you. Why? Because you are a masterpiece of God. God intended to create you. You are not in this world by accident. Pas tukiwa hivu kama kweri, mungu alituumba na ewa walianguka katika rambi. Mungu alikuwa na uweso wa kuwaondoa na kuumba binadamu mwingine kama maraika. Lakini Mungu hakuwaondoa. Alianza mpangilio mpya wa kuwaokoa. Kibosa akatuletea mwanae Yesu Kristo akatuokoa kwa njia ya mwanae Yesu Kristo. And this is how God is even today. God does not want us to perish in sin. God loves us. God is a massive God. God is a loving God. And gives us anatubatia uweso. Wakumkalibia tunapo tubu na mbisetu. Anatubea na vasi. Ata dagike ya mwisho. Kumkalibia. Mina kumbuka ile njiri. Eruka tunabu ambiwa Yesu wakiwa pale mzarabani. Aku wa peke yake alikuwa na wengine wa wili. Mwja kamuambia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Siuji okoe na utu okoe sisi. Lakini ule mungine kasema we. Sisi tuko hapa mzarabani kwa sababu tuwa staini. Tumetenda lambi. Tumeiba amali wa kwa wana. Yesu wali muambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Today. Sio le, sio kenshi. Najua tukepua, tunatambua jina la uo mwisi. Tukepua, tumepaka hiyo jina. Kwa sababu, tatu wa kuyashua yezi nende. Na nikazenu kweli, uo mwisi alikuwa mwisi. Akiwa hapa dumiani, aliku mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale mzalabanda kikia mwisho. It's all paradise. They only live with the world. Uli ya nijulikana, alipo paradise. Tunajalibu kusema, it's a good thing, lakini hakuna, there is no good thing, who is good. Lakini ya lipa, paradise. Remember me in your kingdom. God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunapo kukalibia mungu. Kumambia, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu, sisi ni watoto wa wafana me wa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunapo mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mewu anayo tutedea. We learn the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajalibu, lakini anayo tuinua ni mungu mwenyewe. So, file mungu wana tuinua God expect us to be humble. To be humble. Kwa watu wanyenyekefu. The higher you climb, the more you should be humble. The moment you pige kifuwa, you say, ah, sasa nimefika ni mimi. Maria mtakatibu wanatombia nini? Wale ambao wanakipereka kule juu, wataweko wapi? Chini. Kuwa mnyenyekevu. Tumikia watu wa mungu kwa mnyenyekevu. Ukijua ya kuwa, 
Kwa hiyo cheo umepatiwa na Mungu. Ni kama Mungu anakuambia hiyo cheo it does not belong to you. It belongs to me. But I place you there to serve my people because through you I want to serve them in humility in love. Usifike bali ukajipiga kifua hapana. Ndipo Teresia anatuambia njia moja ya kumwonyesha Mungu unyenyekevu wetu ni kumtembelea Mungu na kumwambia ndugu zangu njooni tuweze kumshukuru Mungu. Should I have said I can do that privately. Lakini yako sema hivyo sema let me call all those who are my friends let me call even those who are my enemies to tell them i have a god i can tell that god thank you that is why we are here we are not wasting time we are here to tell god thank you begin to nasahau kumwambia mungu asante i'm told that one person died and he went to heaven and he was received by angel a coffee of his people kasema I now believe that God listened to our prayers. Then he went and found another big hall, but there were only five angels who were sleeping. Akauliza na wao hawa mbona walivukuzwa mbona hawana kazi? Akaambia hawa walimaliza kazi yao asubuhi. These are the angels who receive the thanks from people. When God answers people their prayers, Na wakamulilia Yesu wakiwa mbali hata wakukaribia Have mercy on us Walikuwa ametengwa hata na jamii because repros was a very contentious disease Walikuwa ametengwa hata na jamii they could not even go close to Jesus they only shouted and Jesus listened to them and said go and show yourself to the high priest Ripokuwa kienda wakabonywa but only one a Samaritan who came back to Jesus to say thank you to thank God thank you to thank God na Yesu akaulizwa si wote wale kumi walibona wale wengine tisa wako wapi and Jesus is posing the same question where are the others are you among those others who never remember to tell God thank you? Mungu amekubariki. Mungu amekusaidia. Kila mmoja wetu Mungu ametusaidia in one way or another. Let us learn to say thank you. Tunabo unganika na hii familia kumwambia Mungu asante. Wanatufundisha umuhimu wa kumwendea Mungu na kutoa shukrani zetu God does not ask us anything in order to thank him tusiseme mimi sina uwezo wa kumshukuru Mungu sisi sote tuna uwezo to tell God thank you na katika neno la Mungu katika Biblia we see those who go back to God to tell God thank you. How blessed they are. Abraham thanked God. Na akatoa fungu la kumi. Kwa miliki zeleki. Akanyikea pale, akapata baraka sake mwenyezi mungu. Abraham blessed as he was. He was so humble to thank God na kutoa fungu la kumi kumwambia Mungu you have given me kama vile mtakatifu Paulo anatuambia what is it that you have that God has not given you ili ni kweli uweze kujivunia useme hivi yani ya kuwa wewe ni wewe umetia ile juhudi ya kuwa ni wewe uko nacho na haikutoka kwa Mungu all what we have comes from God all what we have comes from God. Tu watu wenyekevu kumwambia Mungu umempea pole si ya kuwa na sahihi si ya kuwa I am so perfect more than others that is why I have what I have because I'm better than others 
No, because God, you are so good to me. Because God, you are so loving. Because God, you are so merciful. But what you have given me, it is not for myself alone. I share with others. God blesses you in all that also. Through you, he can also bless others. God blesses that and which gives. Even without bringing the trumpet, you give in order also that God can reach others, can bless others. What a joy. What a joy when we know that the more we give to the society, the more we give to the people of God by serving them well, by sharing what God has blessed us with, the more we attract the blessings of God. The more we attract the blessings of God. To a watu kweli wakonye shukulansi tu kwa mungu siyo maneno tu bali kwa vitendo. Vitendo vya uruma, vitendo vya upendo, vitendo vya unyenye kefu. Vitendo vya kufanya watu wale wengine ata wawese kujua jia ili ata wawo wawese kufahuru. It's an old man who was blessed by God. He had three sons. Hakaona wakati waki sasa umevika wakuondoka haba duniani. Hakawaita wanae, hakawambia, I have 17 camels, ngamia kumi na saba. Mimi sina kitu ingina ya sawachia. This is my inheritance. This is what I'm going to give you to inherit from me. Lakini ya kawambia, you are not going to inherit equally. Ule wa kwanza, ya kamsema, huyu, dia likuwa tasena kienda kufuga siri ngamia. This one will get half. Kwa hivu, Ikiwa wewe utachukua nusu. Ule mwingine kwa msa mwambia wewe second born, you are a driver, ukona kazi yako, you will get one that. Wa mwisho, alikuwa kijana, alikuwa mwalimu, kamambia and you, you will get one ninth. Mse alipo kufa, pande ya kumsidikisa mse, after two weeks, they came together, said, wacha sasa tufuate the will of our father. Fili aliamua. The first one nakasema, vile mse aliamua, alisema mini bate nusu. 17 divided by 2, 8.5. Sasa, gamia itakawanyu wa nusu na mnagani. Sasa watachukua kati ama nini. Ule mwalimu wakasema, bana, you cannot get half. Uwe ridhika na nane. The first one nakasema, no, we respect the will of our father. The father said half. And half of 17 is 8.5. Nane na nusu. The second bomb was given one that. 17 divided by 3 is 5.6 or 5.7 there. Sasa utapata 0.7 or 0.6 na mnagani. Ule mgini alipatua 9. 17 divided by 9, by 9 is 1.8 there. So awa kweza kukubaliyana. Ugovu kansa pale nyumbani, kalipu wa pigani. They could not agree on how to follow the will of their father. Ule wakansa kawambia sasa, kuna ule mse nikuwa nikiona papa tukiwa na shida hapa nyumbani ya nikuwa kemuita. Situende kwa ketuone ya tatusaidia na mnagana. Ule mwalimu wakasema sasa ule mse na ite two years. That man is even in person, he cannot even think. Ata tusaidia na mnagana. Hii mambo ya esabu, nini ya nareta hapa? Lakini baanda ya persuasion, haka kubali. Wakaendea ule mse. Kumambia mse ya lisema hivi, tukawanya hivi, tutafanya nini? The old man told them, you go home, tomorrow morning I will come, I will give you a solution. Ntawapea jawapa. Asubuhi yake mse ya lichukua, lienda kwa sisirati ya kachukua another camel. Hakaenda kwa hili familia, kawambia, Your father was like a brother to me. He loved me and I loved him. Na mimi na wapeda kwa sababu nini ni kama watoto wangu. Na waongesea hii ngamia. Sasa ikawa 17 plus 1, 18. Haka muambia ule wakwanza, wee popa yako alikuambia nini? Aliniambia nusu. Haka muambia chukua nusu. 18 divided by 2. 
naye akachukua naye ule mwingine wa Nudhand akaambua Nudhand of 186 akaingia akaambiwa hata wewe ingia chukua 6 na wewe akwambia nini wa 9 18 divided by 9 2 naye akachukua zake mbili 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 2 17 alafu msee akachukua yake akaenda nyumbani tutaimeisha wakati hapo na na imeenda na namna gani tulishindwa na namna gani hakuna mtu alipata hakuna mtu alipata kidogo uli wa kwanza in send of 8.5 he got 9 Uli wa kwa pili badala ya 5.6 he got 6. Ule wengine badala ya 1.8 he got 2. 17. Na ule mzee akaenda nyumbani. God gives us all that wisdom here to divide to share with others. This is how God blesses us. Every time we go to God, we do not go back home empty. The family of Benjamin and Theresa, you are not going to go empty. You are going to share what God is going to give you so that that responsibility God has given you, you can share. Like this old man who now been selfish. But he was not selfish. He took one, but he never went home empty. We cannot go to God and go back empty. To Kohaba siku ya leo tukiwaambia Mungu asante we are not going to go back empty atutaenda mikono mitubu kwa sababu gani because god blesses us tunaposherekea siku ya leo kwa unyenyekevu we bow before god and tell god we are your humble servant bless us so that as we go back home we go blessed giving thanks and rejoicing because you are good to us kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu As we reflect about bishops homily we call forward for those who are going to lead us the prayer of intercession prayers of the faithful come forward as we reflect about the sermon the homily of the bishop we call those who are going to lead us in the prayers of faithful to come forward please Mungu baba mwenyezi tuanze mbele yako kwa moyo wa shukurani tukushukuru kwa yale yote umetujalia hasa katika hii familia hii Mungu tunaomba baraka zako na neema zako ziwafikie wanapokuambia asante kwa kitoa shukrani zako sawa kwako Tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu ya pokea maombi yetu ili tukiondoka hapa siku ya leo e Mungu tuweze kwenda na baraka zako na tuweze kuyatimiza mapenzi yako. Tuombe tukisema e Bwana tunakuomba utusikie. Ndoa kemku. E bwana tuakuomba. Tuomba 
tu sikie Tuombe kwa ajili ya inji yetu Kenya Tuombe inji yetu iwe taifa lenye haki na amani ushirikiano na undugu na kwamba viongozi wa serikali wa waongoze wa Kenya wote bila ubaguzi wa aina yeyote ile e bwana twakuomba nakuomba utusikie kwa ajili ya mheshimiwa Teri Maika katibu mkuu wa ugatuzi kwamba mwenyezi Mungu amjalie hekima na ujasiri shauri na uchaji wa Mungu katika huduma yake kwa taifa na wananchi wote katika siku hii yake ya kutoa shukrani kwa Mungu Mungu amemimine baraka na neema tele e bwana tukuomba na kuomba utusikie kwa ajili ya familia zote na hasa familia ya bwana Benjamin na B Teresa Chalo kwamba upendo wa Mungu uwe juu ya kila familia wana familia wote wapende kuwa na ushirikiano na umoja kati yao wazazi wao tayari kuongoza watoto wao katika kufuata mito yao katika huduma yao kwa Mungu e bwana tunakuomba tunakuomba utusikie sana kwa hati ya vijana na watoto. Mwenyezi Mungu hawatalia amani katika mioyo yao na kuwazalia mahitaji yao yote yaliyo sawa na mipango ya Mungu juu ya maisha yao. E Bwana twakuomba. Twakuomba utusikie. Sana kwa kibisi na wote walio tembo. Mungu uwajalie moyo wa ukumbifu kati yetu nasi utujalie moyo wa upendo ili tusiwe na ubaguzi bali tu tuwakaribishe na kuwafana wa majisi kwamba wanapendwa na wana umuhimu katika dunia hii e bwana vile vile tutakuwa inaonyeshwa kwenye screen na ndio tutatumia especially wale wana wana cash na pay bill ndio hii 329 329 na account number itayo utaiona vile vile iko kwa screen kwa hivyo hakuna maana tuwasomee kwa hivyo CMA Catholic Men Association Catholic Women Association tunaomba kutuongoze na kwaya tunawapatia nafasi sasa hivi kutupatie wimbo wa sadaka kwa screen kuna paybill vile vile katika kila mlango imebadilikwa pale kwa hivyo karibuni kwa sadaka 
baada ya sandaka matendeo yale yengine tutafuata disha nyuma tumia sio nde tutafuata nyuma tukileta sandaka asante
Sujiokoe na utuokoe sisi Lakini ule mungine kasema we, Sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini Tumetenda rambi Tumeiba amali ya wengine But this one Has not committed any crime Hali muangalia Yesu Haku wana mnyangani Hali muangalia Yesu Haka wana mfalwe Na kamambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom Nikumbuke katika ufalwe wana Yesu hali muambia nini Today you will be with me In paradise Today Sio le Sio kenshi Najua tukekua tunatambua jina la uo umisi Tukekua tumepaka hiyo jina Kwa sababu tatu wa kuyashua hiyo zinele Na nikazenu kweli uo umisi alikuwa umisi Akiwa hapa dumiani alipo mali ya wengine Akiwa pale mzalafanda kike ya mwisho He sold paradise The only thing with the world Kuli ya nijulikana alipo paradise Tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief Lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good Lakini ya lipa paradise Remember me in your kingdom God telling us that paradise can be stolen again Tunapo kukalibia mungu Kumambia Lord remember me in your kingdom Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa mfalme wa mungu Weak as we are, strong as we are God did not create us for hell He created us for heaven As in the last he tells us That God created us for himself And our heart are restless until they rest in him Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu Ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea We learn to thank God Looking at how God has blessed us How God has elevated us Not because we merit but because of the love of God, no one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini anakamungia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Si ujiokoe na utuokoe sisi. Lakini ule mungine akasema, wewe, sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini. Tumetenda rambi. Tumeiba amali ya wengine But this one Has not committed any crime Hali muangalia Yesu Haku wana mnyangani Hali muangalia Yesu Haka wana mfalwe Na kamambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom Nikumbuke katika upadu na wana Yesu hali muambia nini Today you will be with me In paradise Today Sio le Sio kenshi Najua tukekua tunatambua jina la uo umisi Tukekua tumepaka hiyo jina Kwa sababu tatu wa kuyashua hiyo zinele Na nikazenu kweli uo umisi ya likuwa umisi Akiwa hapa dumiani alipo mali ya wengine Akiwa pale mzalafanda kike ya mwisho He sold paradise The only thing with the world Kuli ya nijulikana alipo paradise Tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief Lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good Lakini ya lipa Paradise Remember me in your kingdom God telling us That paradise can be stolen again Tunapo kukalibia mungu Kumambia Lord remember me in your kingdom Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa mfalme wa mungu Weak as we are, strong as we are God did not create us for hell He created us for heaven As in the last he tells us That God created us for himself And our heart are restless until they rest in him Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu 
ni kwa sababu yale mema Mungu anayo tutendea yale mema Mungu anayo tutendea we learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us how God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God no one merit is because of the love of God yes we can have on our side effort tunajaribu lakini anataka wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa amali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'anyo alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini remember me in your kingdom remember me in your kingdom nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini today you will be with me in paradise today sio leo sio kesho najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tume, tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu that we are sure he is never na nikazema kweli huo mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine akiwa pale mzalafa dakika ya mwisho he is all paradise the only thing with the world kuli alijulikana alipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini alipo paradise remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokaribia mungu kumwambia lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa ufalme wa mungu weak as we are strong as we are God did not create us for hell he created us for heaven as in the rest of the us that God created us for himself and our heart are restless until they rest in him basi tunapomshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema Mungu anayo tutendea yale mema Mungu anayo tutendea we learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us how God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God no one merit is because of the love of God yes we can have on our side effort tunajaribu lakini akamwambia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa amali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'anyo alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom Nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini Today you will be with me in paradise Today sio leo sio kesho Najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tume, tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu that we are sure he is never nikazema kweli huo mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine akiwa pale msalafa dakika ya mwisho he is all paradise the only thing with the world kuli alijulikana alipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini alipo paradise remember me in your kingdom 
God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. To Napo Calibia Mungu. Columbia, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Was about to cease in your total to our father, Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven, as in the last he tells us. But God created us for himself. And our hearts are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu Siuji okoe na utu okoe sisi Lakini ule mungine kasema we, Sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini Tumetenda lambi Tumeiba amali ya wengine But this one has not committed any crime Halimuangalia Yesu Hapo na mnyangani Alimuangalia Yesu akaona mvalwe na akamwambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom Nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini Today you will be with me in paradise Today sio leo sio kesho Najua tukikuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu hapo ya show yes never ni kazenu kweli huu mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine akiwa pale mzarafanda dakika ya mwisho he saw paradise the only thing in the world kuli alijulikana alipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good lakini alipo paradise remember me in your kingdom God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. To Napo Kalibia Mungu. Kumambia, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu, sisi ni watoto kwa ufarme wa Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven, as in the last he tells us. But God created us for himself. And our hearts are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Ya wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu Siuji okoe na utu okoe sisi Lakini ule mungine kasema We, sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini Tumetenda lambi, tumeiba amali ya wengine But this one has not committed any crime Halimuangalia Yesu, hapo na mnyangani Halimuangalia Yesu, hakaona mvalwe. Na hakamambia nini? Remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika upadona wako. 
Yesu alimwambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Today sio leo sio kesho. Na njoo tukepua tunatambua jina la huo mwizi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu that word we are showing is in heaven. Na nikazeni kweli huo mwizi alikuwa mwizi. Akiwa hapa duniani aliyepo mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale mzalafanda dakika ya mwisho he is so paradise. They only be with the world. Kuli alijulikana alipo paradise. Tunajaribu kusema he is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good. Lakini alipo paradise. Remember me in your kingdom. God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunapo kukalibia mungu. Kumambia Lord remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto kwa wafana mekwa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the rest, he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini ya kumulia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu siuji okoe na utu okoe sisi lakini ule mungine kasema we sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini tumetenda rambi tumeiba amali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimuangalia yesu hapu wana mnyangani alimuangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom Nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini Today you will be with me in paradise Today sio leo sio kesho Na njoo tukepua tunatambua jina la huo mwizi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu that word we are showing is in heaven na nikazeni kweli huu mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine akiwa pale mzalafanda kike ya mwisho he is so paradise they only be with the world kuli alijulikana alipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini alipo paradise remember me in your kingdom God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunapo kukalibia mungu. Kumambia Lord remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto kwa wafalme wa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the rest, he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have 
tuna wasaidi effort tunajaribu lakini anatamulia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema wewe sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeiba mali ya wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'ani alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini remember me in your kingdom remember me in your kingdom nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini today you will be with me in paradise today sio leo sio kesho najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu watu ya sure is never and kazenu kweli huu mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alikuwa mali ya wengine akiwa pale mzarafani dakika ya mwisho is all paradise the only thing with the world kuli alijulikana aliipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good lakini alipa paradise remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokalibia mungu kumwambia lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa ufalme wa Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Basi tunapomshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema Mungu anayotutendea. Yale mema Mungu anayotutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God no one merit is because of the love of God yes we can have on our side effort tunajaribu lakini anataka wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema wewe sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeiba mali ya wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'ani alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini remember me in your kingdom remember me in your kingdom nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini today you will be with me in paradise today sio leo sio kesho najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu watu ya sure is never and kazenu kweli huo mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alikuwa mali ya wengine akiwa pale mzarafani dakika ya mwisho he is all paradise the only thing with the world kuli alijulikana aliipo paradise tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good lakini alipa paradise remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokalibia mungu kumwambia lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa ufalme wa Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. 
He created us for heaven, as in the rest he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God, no one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini anakambia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Suji okoe na utu okoe sisi. Lakini ule mungine kasema we, sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini. Tumetenda lambi. But this one has not committed any crime. Ali muangalia Yesu, akuona mnyangani. Ali muangalia Yesu, akaona mvalwe. Na kamambia nini? Remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika upadu na wana. Yesu ali muambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Today, it's your name, it's your case. Najua tukekua tunatambua jina la uo umisi, tukekua tumepata hiyo jina. Kwa sababu tatu wa kuyashua hiyo zinele. Na nikazema kweli, uo umisi alikuwa umisi. Akiwa hapa dumiani, alikuwa mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale mzalafanda kiki ya mwisho, he sold paradise. They only deal with the world. Kuli ya nijulikana, alikuwa paradise. Tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief, lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good. Lakini ya lipa, paradis. Remember me in your kingdom. God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunako kukalibia mungu. Kumambia Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa mfano me wa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the rest he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us not because we merit it. But because of the love of God, no one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini anakamungia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Suji okoe na utu okoe sisi. Lakini ule mungine kasema, we, sisi tuko hapa mzarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini. Tumetenda lambi. Tumeiba amali ya wengine. But this one has not committed any crime. Hali muangalia Yesu, hakuona mnyangani. Hali muangalia Yesu, hakaona mvalwe. Na kamambia nini? Remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika upadu na wana. Yesu hali muambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Today, it's your name, it's your case. Najua tukekua tunatambua jina la uo umisi, tukekua tumepata hiyo jina. Kwa sababu tatu wa kuyashua hiyo zinele. Na nikazema kweli, uo umisi ya likuwa umisi. Akiwa hapa dumiani, alipo mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale mzalafanda kiki ya mwisho, he sold paradise. They only deal with the world. Kuli ya nijulikana, alipo paradise. 
tunajaribu kusema ni is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini alipa paradise remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokaribia mungu kumwambia lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa ufalme wa Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the gospel tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Basi tunapomshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema Mungu anayotutendea. Yale mema Mungu anayotutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God no one merit is because of the love of God yes we can have on our side effort tunajaribu lakini anataka wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tustahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa mali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'anyi alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini remember me in your kingdom remember me in your kingdom nikumbuke katika ufalme wako Yesu alimwambia nini today you will be with me in paradise today sio le sio kesho najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu wa we are sure he is in heaven na nikazema kweli huo mwisi alikuwa mwisi akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine akiwa pale msalafanda dakika ya mwisho he saw paradise the only thing in the world kule alijulikana alipo paradise tunajaribu kusema is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini alipa paradise remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokaribia mungu kumwambia lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa ufalme wa Mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the gospel tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him basi tunapomshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema Mungu anayotutendea yale mema Mungu anayotutendea we learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us how God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God no one merit is because of the love of God yes we can have on our side effort tunajaribu lakini anataka mwana wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tustahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa mali ya wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'anyi alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini 
Remember me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, as we thank you for this family, you are blessed. We pray that you may bless each one of them. Lord God, you have manifested your great love to them, and especially for choosing one of them to serve in our government. We humbly ask you to accompany her, Madam Teresia Chalo, with all the graces she needs, so that this task you have given her, Lord God, through her you may be able to manifest your great love and service to your people. Sujio koe na utuo koe sisi, lakini ule mungine kasema we. Sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuestaini. Tumetenda rambi, tumeipa mali ya wengine. Kwa nguvu, kwa unjio mwana wa beke, nanyi mulio wekwa imani yenu katika, nanyi mwana. Kaona mfalwe, nakamambia nini? Remember me in your kingdom. Kwa matumaini ule wa biri, Awajase utanjiri wa mbaraka sake Nakate kama isha ya sasa haba duniani Ye ya wafanya imara katika imani Wafu Wa Mufurai katika matumaini na wenye njundi katika ubendo Yawusima wa mirere atakapo kunja tena katika utukufu wake Na mbaraka yake mungu mwenyesi ya baba na mwana Na romta katifu ya shuke na kukana nyi daima na mirere
mgeni makofi hao wanaitukana kama Returns for Dancers ah vile vile PNC wanajumuika pamoja naomba tuwapigie makofi tena naomba tuwapigie makofi nyenye ni asanteni sana sasa hivi tumekamatisha misa takatifu ikiongozwa na baba katika uh, baba askofu na tuna budi kushukuru sana na bila kupoteza wakati e, naomba sasa hivi tutaelekea kipindi cha pili ambacho itakuwa ni kipindi cha burudani barida ambacho tutakuwa tunaandaa hapa hapa very short entertainment na bila shaka nitakuwa na mwalika nimekuwa na nini kutoka asubuhi mimi najulikana kama saa mololo nilikuwa kutoka asubuhi na sasa hivi naomba nikukaribishe mwanzangu ambaye ni director coordinator state house bwana Poli Musambi aweze kuchukua kutoka hapo asante sana thank you Asante sana. Basi moja kwa moja tunaingia katika kipindi cha pili. Mkuu wa Waziri Mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavadi, Mkuu wa Utumishi wa Umma Felix Koskei, Mwenyeji wetu aliye pia Katibu Mkuu wa Idara ya Kitaifa ya Ugatuzi, B. Terimaika, Mawaziri, Magavana mliofika pamoja na Makatibu wakuu wa Wizara. Wewe viti ma CEO, ma director na wafanyakazi wote wa serikali kuu na za kaunti, viongozi wa kidini, mabibi na mabwana. Hamdambo. Basi jina langu ni Boni Musambi kama mlivyosikia na naomba tufanye mabadiliko kidogo tu katika program. Viongozi wetu ambao tuko nao hapa wana shughuli kadha wa kadha siku ya leo. Na kwa hivyo wengine tutakuwa tunawachilia mapema alafu tunaendelea na program. Kwa hivyo tutabadilisha tu kidogo nitasitisha kwanza burudani tusikie speech ya Terry na kisha zungumza tusikie speech ya kuwa utumishi wa umma alafu tumrelease apate kuondoka. Na baada ya hapo tutakimbiza program ili pia mkuu wa mawaziri naye aende kwa shughuli nyingine kama alivyotumwa na mshimu wa rais. Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana? Asante. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa naomba sote kwa pamoja tukaribishe kwa makofi vifijo na derembo mwenyeji wetu PS Teri Mbaika ambaye ni katibu mkuu wa idara ya kitaifa ya ujatuzi makofi tena na mgelekele um my process you are Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, uh, Head of Public Service and Chief of Staff, Felix Koske, uh, other Cabinet Secretaries present, uh, CS Malonza, CS Moses Kuria, colleague Principal Secretaries present, um, governors present, elected leaders present, members of my family present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. Uh, please allow me to just introduce my family for mentioning my names and starting just to you stand and wave the crowd. And I'll start with my husband, my spouse, Benjamin Chalo Mololo. I have my children with me. I believe you have seen them here. They are among us. My mother, my mother, please. Mami Ungama, what okay, the ando? That is my mother. I have my other mother, my mother in love, my mother in law, my dad in law. All my sisters and brothers, please be upstanding for the interest of time, all of you. Musalimiane. Asante sana. And my other sister, I have not seen you stand. Please stand. That's my sister-in-law. 
uh, Asanteni Sana. And also at this point, I'll introduce the committee which did this event to be a success. Please be upstanding and wave the crowd. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please allow me to read just a short uh, speech before I invite the head of public service before he leaves to address us. Um, it gives me and my family immense pleasure to welcome you here at home. On our side, effort. Wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu si ujiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeiba mali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akuona mnyang'ani were it not for the opportunity, the people of Kaiti gave me, as a young lady starting life in public service, to start to serve at our Kaiti constituency offices back in the years. May I therefore, from the onset, thank the former members of parliament, uh, Honorable Gideon Dabuki, after my form four, he gave some work in the offices to do. And Honorable Richard Makenga, I think he's among the stars, for allowing me to serve at the Kaiti constituency offices as, a, as a, service, a service that ignited a burning desire to work for our community and especially the less fortunate. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of the less fortunate is for me very humbling. As most of you here know, my background was not the most comfortable. In fact, I dare say it was one full of challenges and difficulties. I cannot forget the many days we struggled with everyday needs and how our mother worked tirelessly to get us by. I thank God for my family for not giving up on us and also reaching out to the diocese that catered for my education through bursaries from an early age, to be specific, the Sisters of Precious Blood. I therefore stand before you as a principal secretary, State Department for Devolution. Yale mema mungu anayo tutedea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us not because we merit but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort Tunajaribu, lakini anakamuna wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Si ujiokoe na utuokoe sisi. Lakini ule mungine akasema, we, sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu kwa staini. Tumetenda lambi, tumeiba mali ya wengine. But this one has not committed any crime. Halimuangalia Yesu, hakuona mnyangani, Alimuangalia Yesu, akaona mfalwe. Na kamambia nini? Remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika upalama wana. Yesu alimuambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Tule, tule, tule. Na nikazema kweli, huu mwisi alikuwa mwisi. Akiu hapa dumiani, aliku mali ya wengine. Akiu pale, is all paradise. The only the world. Remember me in your kingdom. God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunapo Kalibia Mungu. 
and be a Lord, remember me in your kingdom. As a Bible persists in your total to our final name, our Lord. We as a God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart is in him. Pasi tunapo mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini ya kumbia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu si ujiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda dhambi tumeiba mali wengine but this one has not committed any crime my family in giving thanks for what the Lord has done. Together, let us sing Nathaniel's basis song. Come see what the Lord has done. Nathaniel is a sweet tradition of the original Psalms of David in Psalm 66 verses 5. Come and see what God has done, awesome deeds for mankind. Let us enjoy and make merry. And my thanksgiving of trade was to go to the church. We are doing a church in Kuyuni Parish. And I've one million Kenya shillings so that we can see for God. Thank you very much. And before I sit, because I may not have, have another opportunity, please allow me to invite my colleague PSS just to say hi to the people. Then I sit, I'll not come back here. Please, Mudoni and your team, just your name, your department, and then we're done. Thank you so much. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last he tells us that God created us for himself. Okay, I'm going to my apologies. I do only expect to want to work from Kitui. P.S. Ako, India. P.S. Veronica Nuva from Atakos. Ako, Ghana, Kazi. Now, while we're in the world, I'm going to do a new lesson was kuku. So, when you come to my mind, Tunaweza pia hawa watu wetu jibu na vitu zingine mingi ambazo 
ambazo tungependa kusema. But because we usually have forums where we can share this, I know you are in hurry. I do not want to bore you with so many stories. But for that one, we are very specific. We want this message. Itoke hapa, iende uko, mali inapaswa kusikia. I'm happy my colleague Piers is here. Piers for Rhodes is aware of this. Tumeongea hii sana. Ata governor wanakuwa wanasema hii manendo ya barabara. It's a very critical road for us. Toake, hiyo tuko sawa, inaendelea kumalizika. We know it's going to be done. Issues of water, issues of uh, roads, and every other uh, sector of development. We are really asking the government and the government if you ask these people government is steady unajua hawana serikali nyingine serikali yao iko hapa na tunafanya kazi pamoja tuko na watu wetu wale wako kwa serikali tunashirikiana kama umeangalia hii mkutano um, umeandaliwa na diverse team we came together and we said why not come together and tell our people and especially this time of uh, festivities to ambia sante so please uh, i know you have heard and we can get into details when that opportunity is given to, and to us we expect to have the president soon so that we also have an interaction with him thank you so much god bless you sana 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 were it not for the people of kaiti it would have been very difficult for me to be spotted but because you gave me a platform i'm most humbled and i promise we are going to work together we are going to walk the journey together but pia sisi tujue ile njia mzuri kipitia njia moja ukiona ni mbaya tafuta ingine asante ni sana so uh, i want now to invite the head of public service and i'm very sorry i took longer than you expected thank you so much karibu sana sana your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Baba Skofu, Wada Sisi, Ya Wote, Makatibu Wala Kapa, Cabinet Secretaries present, leaders that are present, I can see. There are many, I can see governors, I can see chairmen of part of I can see directors. Um, Wageni wa Teresia, and go to Mithika Hapa, we want to win his son. Benjamin Kialu, Mze wa PS, Familia Yote, Kaka Mama, Mze, Familia yote, majirani, watu wa kaiti, watu wa makweni, tumsibu ya Yesu Kristo. Milele na milele. Na ima na milele. Asante sana. Kwanza kabisa nikependa kukipuwa na fasi hii, nipongese Terry Mbaika, wa kuchaguliwa kama principal sector. Terry mfanye kazi mzuri anafanya kazi yake kwa bidii anasukuma mambo ya bottom up kweli kweli na hudumia na governors kaunti sote 47 na mtu wa bidii ile kitu tu saa zingine inachanganya akikuja kwa hizi maofisi yetu kitu ya kwanza ni makweni so she is always talking about Makweni Hapa. So she is a good, good leader for this county. And I want to thank her because we have a good office here. We have a one or two things about Makweni and the people of Makweni. So I want to thank her because and she clear ground. Mtu anapenda ground, anapenda watu wa area hii, anapenda sana sana watu wawe na maendeleo. 
na wawe maisha yao hiyo badala ya pili ningependa tena kusema kwamba tumekuja leo kurudishia Mwenyezi Mungu asante sio yeye peke yake yeye ndio atakuwa leader leo ya kurudisha asante hata sisi tunakurudisha asante sana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu hakuna mtu hata mmoja hapa alikuwa anajua hata yasamka asubuhi hii akiwa salama na anaweza kwa mka kutoka kwake afike hapa so we need to thank god for this life that we have ourselves and for the miracle of sleeping and waking up more so we want to thank god for most of us Terry explained narrated her story from the beginning until where she is it is a story that we all share a story of challenges of serious poverty the challenges of lack of school fees challenges of lack of food challenges that even people can despise you because you have nothing but since god is god Terry is here as a principal secretary strength that can make this county move forward what we need to do only is to think and to choose right and follow the right trajectory either in politics either in development or otherwise and everything will be okay so in Malaysia your excellency we were when we heard the story of um, of Terry that she was brought up educated by the Catholic Church <laughs> going through very difficult challenges the leaders that had come earlier the two CSS myself and the PSS here resolved to thank God through some donation to her church a home church so that the child can <laughs> and also be strong enough to support others that are coming. And therefore, Governor Mungaro was here. He has said he's giving his 200,000. And CS Malonza said she's also giving 200,000. Uh, Wana Kuria, Moses Kuria, very famous in this area. And the same other told me a bill. Yes, what they want to happen and what they want to do is that they want to do 400,000. I know that they want to do 500,000. So you actually do that and you 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 do that. So the same thing is that you do that and you do that and you do that and you do that and you do that. Angalia vile hata saidiana na kanisa ili the spirit of help and support to the less fortunate can also continue in this place. So why need to say asante sana? Let us continue working hard. Terry, continue working for these people. Continue working for government and for sure the sky is the limit. Asante sana. And I have to be there before they close. Asante sana hundo bariki. Ikiongozo na teacher Janet na teacher Filomena. Your Excellency Prime Cabinet Secretary, hii ndio shule aliyosomea Madam Terry Baika. Najua tungekuwa tunatambua jina la huo mwisi, tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu hapo ya show is never. Na nikazema kweli huu mwisi alikuwa mwisi. Akiwa hapa duniani aliyepo mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale mzalafanda kike ya mwisho is so paradise. The only thing 
in the world ule alijulikana aliipo paradise tunajaribu kusema it is a good thing lakini hakuna there is no good thing who is good lakini
kabla ya event kuisha. Kwa hivyo naomba ni ujue kwamba nitakuwa very much in charge. Nikikupa nafasi ya kuzungumza lazima uzungumze kwa kifupi. Nikisema asante sana unaondoka ombovu. Amen. Asante. Your Excellency ni vizuri sasa watambue hawa ni kina nani ambao wako hapa na kulingana na program tunahitaji kuwatambua viongozi ambao waliitisha viti kupitia Kenya kwanza. Viongozi ambao waliitisha viti kupitia Kenya kwanza wafike mbele within one minute ni kuonyesha vile tafanya. Hai, tukimbia haraka na wakiondoka jukwani tutakuwa tunawalika sitting MCS ambao wako hapa. Na wale viongozi ambao waliomba viti kupitia Kenya kwanza iwe ni UDA ama any other party. If you're not available nafikiri naweza ruka kwa sababu ya time. Hao wakiondoka sitting MCS wataingia na watakuwa introduced na MCA wa hapa. Ukia Ward ambaye ni mheshimiwa engineer Ndolo. Basi kwa haraka sana jina na kitu kilichoomba kuja hapa haraka. Kwa majina ni Barak Ngumbao Nilikuwa na wania kiti cha MCA Mboni Ward Mboni Constituency Jina la kisiasa ni Barack Obama the second Asante Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe Tusalimiane Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe Mimi naitua Atanas Mainga kutoka Mboni Mimi niliomba kiti ya MCA Na chama cha UDA kazi ni kazi Asante sana God is good all the time. My name is Dovilas Madendu. Ilgombia kiti cha MCA na chama chetu cha Mandeleo Chap Chap. Keka Rais Ruto wasobi mbaya kwa kumusa kwa Jerry Mbaika. Kutuwa kato kwa dhaku ni yamana. Asande ni sana. Amjabu. Amjabu tena. Jina ni Kristiano Mwania kutoka Kilungu. I invite for MCA Kilungu. And now I'm here. Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Majina yangu ni Peter Nyamainzuki. Leo nigombania kiti cha ubunge cha Msangweni kwa tikiti ya ANC. Bwana wabariki nyote. Asante Mungu ni mwema. Hebu nisalimie hapa kila niliwania kiti cha UMCA hapo aukia ward lakini mipango ya Mungu hata hiyo mipango ya Mungu lakini jina yangu ni Sunia MCA Elema Ward nilikuwa naomba kiti na chama ya na, na sasa tum, I'm a strong supporter now ya Kenya Kwanza thank you so much Jones Madeka, 
kujawania kiti cha MP huko Kilome kama independent candidate lakini said kwa ndani ya serikali karibu sana mheshimiwa prime minister cabinet mashukuru maana mmetupatia viti mingi kwa hivyo kama wakamba jamii ya wakamba tuko na furaha na tuko na shukurani mingi rais ambiwe tumeshukuru na tunataka kuendelea pamoja na serikali hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo mkirudi ukambani imebadilika ukambani inasema ni Kenya kwanza ni UDA asanteni sana bwana wa tuwapigie makofi your excellency hao ni waliwania viti mbalimbali in 2022 kupitia Kenya kwanza kwa sasa naomba sitting MCS ambao wako hapa wafike mbele na watakuwa introduced na MCA wa hapa ukia ward ambaye ni engineer Ndolo na engineer pia utakuwa natupatia introduction ya county executives ambao wako hapa kwa haraka karibu Nataka niwalike all the sitting MCS wenye wako hapa tafadhali kwa haraka na pia ikiwa tuko na eh, the county government eh, officers <tos> nataka niwapatie nafasi kidogo tu waseme majina yao na pale wameshikilia asante karibu god is good and all the time uh, majina yangu naitwa debora mutuku toka kaunti ya Kitui nominated MCA na chama cha UDA na niruhusu niseme ya kwamba mimi nimezaliwa Kaiti cha Moso location and Abu village ndio watu wangu wako hapa nimelelewa Kaiti na nikaolewa makueni hivyo niko nyumbani Terimbaika congratulations so much we love you and may God bless you thank you so much Nengo kwa hapa Mbai tu akamba na ndumanga iniendao mukeria mweaseo hata iwe Yesu how are you guys good afternoon all leaders here my name is Honorable Anna Bellindilo I am a UDA nominated MCA for Machakos County Assembly and we would want to say that we are so much grateful your excellencies for giving one of our daughters a very good platform that is the PS Terimbaika and we have to say thank you so much and we as Kambas from Machakos County we are going to work in coordination with our government of Kenya which is Kenya Kwanza to make sure madhina ma Kamba ni mata tutiliwa tuibamwe Kamba ni toki tumingu mukuli atabadhali Ibi alatu anengiwe mawia tunga meruto egaitu tesera si aruto na tuete ya ndumaitu maendeo nikedhia government ino ya Kenya kwanza ya nengi enye uya ya nengateri uya tuwa bigai tune tuika akulwe falawi ya waingi adimwaimu no and God bless you Good afternoon Masitwa, my name is Ariuni Smombe. I work with the county government, board administrator. Welcome all. Wacha ni wasalimie. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati jina langu ni Elizabeth Mutindi Kio I'm a nominated member in the county assembly of Mkweni nominated by Wipe Democratic Movement uh, I want to say Terry tuna kushukuru kwa mwaliko huu na umefanya vizuri kuona urudishie Mungu shukrani uh, we pray that uh, that position ni kuete utanu na na maendeleo katika region yetu biblia ya asia wadhimo wanga inda ubula na siana wo may your position bring joy to your family first and the people around you and we are already feeling the warmth thank you to the president for that nomination uh, i'm sure she's going to do well in that position asante ni sana na mungu awabariki asante sana ebrai saketi to our chief guest today uh, ps honorable terry baika our 
uh, Prime Cabinet uh, Secretary, His Excellency uh, Muzani Amdavadi, and uh, other Cabinet Secretaries present, PSS, uh, all the leaders, na Monoinji wa Makueni, Kaiti, Ukia. Amujambo! Amujambo tena! Kwa jina naitwa Engineer Jackson Dolo, Kimunyi, I'm the area MCA. Na nataka kurudisha shukurani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na pia kwa Honorable Terry Baika kwa kuona e, ni vizuri atuletee sherehe hapa Mukuyuni ili tuweze kurudisha shukurani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya ile wadhifa alipewa na rais wetu pia tunataka kurudisha shukurani kwa rais wetu kwa kuona e, our daughter Honorable Terry Baika anaweza kufanya kazi katika serikali yake kama PS Depolution hiyo ni honor to the people of Makueni the people of uh, Kaiti and the people of Ukia whom I represent kwa hivyo tunataka kusema eh, kwa wangeni wetu sisi tuko na furaha sana eh, kwa sababu eh, our PS we really feel uh, proud because she she is a hard working uh, lady she's a young and a hard working tunataka kukuambia endelea kufanya kazi ivo ivo na najua rais wetu atakuona uh, vile unafanya kazi na ataweza kupatia uh, jukumu mwingine kubwa kuliko ile uko nayo uh, ile mambo mingi ya development najua uh, our peers amewakilisha kwa rais wetu na all the PSS uh, company centralists who are here na najua hiyo uh, mambo ya development especially maji mabarabara tutatengenezewa kwa hivyo sitaki niongee mengi nataka kurudishia shukrani tena uh, all the guests feel welcome here in Ukia thank you very much makofi tena kwa mheshimiwa MC wetu kazi nzuri sana. Your Excellency sasa naomba tuwaone wale ambao wamepewa kazi na Mheshimiwa Rais katika kaunti ya Mbakueni na kutuonyesha hao na Mwalika Fred Muteti ambaye ni chairperson Special Economic Zones Authority Board. Na wale wote wamepewa kazi na Mheshimiwa Rais wasogee mbele anapozungumza. Thank you very much uh, Musambi. Uh, Master of Ceremony eh, nimepewa nafasi hii kwanza ni introduce eh, all the officers who have been given an opportunity to serve Kenya by His Excellency the President and they are from Makueni County. I've also been asked by His Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary to make some remarks. So I have been instructed eh, we cannot all speak because if we all speak we will live here at six and his excellency prime cabinet secretary has another function to attend therefore just say your name and which organization you are and your position and that should take us five minutes please we comply we start with the regina nabuhi Your Excellency, Honorable Musalia Mundavadi, our guest, Madam Mweta Morembo, Terry Baika, her husband and family, Mweshmiwa uh, Kuria, and all protocols of Bosant. And Oma Kaiti Mweasio? Yes. Yetu Bagani Eje Mweimese. And Oma Kaiti Mweasio? Yes. Amujambo? Amujambo. Nito Regina Wandamboki.
Nimepatiwa kazi, kazi mzuri. Na nataka kusema His Excellency William Samuel Ruto is a very very faithful president. Wakati tulitembea na yeye, mwishowe mambo ilipinduka akatupatia viti. Ni Mungu anayemtibi kivi la kila kitu nene cho. Ni Mungu enda. Bottom up your Santa Santa. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina yangu ni Douglas Guma Kasimu, mimi ni director katika Arts, Culture and Heritage na serve katika board ya Kenya Cultural Center. Na mke ya Mwaseo. Ni wa Joseph Kimote, Mary Director wa National Series and Road Sport. I want to thank you, uh, sir, for the opportunity to open depots in the entire Makwene County. We have six selling centers for fertilizers in Makwene County, and I want to thank really the government. I am the board member Kenya Roads Authority. I am the Terry and I am the Rafiki. I am the God is good. Kwa majina ni Mulu wa Mutunga, mimi ni mtu wa mkono ya chama huko mashindani. I'm the regional manager for UDA party in the southeastern region. Uh, region yetu tunaita southeastern not lower eastern anymore. We claim we are not lower than anybody. Na wa ndo maana hii ndugu wetu msumbe koko. Ni mwezi yetu kwa William Ruto koko. Asandi, Asandi. Skills legal is me yetu nenge de murembo yone kama nenge kivila kiseo kuhuto kwa legal ni moko ni Asandi. We ni moseo. Nama ni down be. Ni tawa hutu kwa nguko. I'm the first chair of National Land Commission. Kuto ni makwe na swami ya watu primary. Ah, uh, Terry, congratulations. And all the best. Thank you. Mwe museo. Na mami down there. Maka iti mwe kwa. Mwe kwa, mwe kwa, mwe kwa, mwe kwa. Oh, yes. Nito wa Adelina, nito wa Mwau. Kaiti, nikuwa kuitu. Kaiti has made me the person I am. So I want to thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary, for coming to grace this occasion. Thank you, Terry, for asking for blessing and saying thank you. We had a hard time, but you know I support you 100%. And Terry is the person for this. Not I have been telling you, even you are, you are, you could be a governor. No, can't go governor, but I support you. Mwashimi wa Korea, asante sana. Tunaomba vijana wetu, ndakuja kwa kwa, vijana wetu waende national youth service. Kwa sababu hapo, dipo wata andipo kama police. Nikinja kwa kwa, tafadhali naomba ututukilia, we are four, four words. Each word, 20. zimeanzishwa na zika simama kwa hivyo tunaomba tutakuta tutakuelezea tuta na najua mheshimiwa Terry anaelezea aduma kaiti mwina ngolo kwivo na ngede mbaika mbadake ikaise we are inaenda kwa kibila kila kinene pio makuwa ni county ndipo sasa hivi tu support David Governor, she's now the chair of KICC. She's the chair of KICC. The Mobolia by Joy, Mabuna and Gayo, Gaymo, or no Ringa, who is a Gale, the Mabuna and Gayo, who begins my coffee and Mushur Kabisa. Prime Cabinet Secretary, our Lord Bishop, Waziri, Moses Kuria, all the PSS led by Jenny Baika, 
and my peers, Abu Bakar from Lamu. My name is Fred Mucheti. I'm the chairman of Special Economic Zones. Mimi nasimamia biashara zote. Na maneno ya investment zote. Nikiomboza na my peers ambaya kwa hapa. PS Abu Bakar. Mimi ni kwa hapa eh, kwa niyaba ya wale watu wa mepoindua na president ni seme jambo tatu. First of all, eh, Prime Cabinet Secretary. Sisi watu ya makueni, tuko na furaha mingi sana. Sababu jambo moja imefanyika during our time, our, our time. ni kwamba tumepata deosis ya, ya wote. So we thank God. We thank God because during our lifetime, we have gotten a deosis ya wote. Tumepata uhuru na uhuru wa Yesu kutoka machakos, kutoka kombolewa. Kwa hivyo sasa, tumekombolewa, tuko na dialysis yetu. Na private cabinet secretary, kitambo tukua na mekutano zetu. Tulikuwa atupati bishop, because bishop alikuwa machakos. But now in time, tukipanga maneno ya misa, bishop anakuja, anafanya misa. Na bishop kama si vile nimeoa ninge ningeoa ndio kuje kwa aruzi yangu ndio nifanyie hiyo jambo. Na bikini because nimeoa nataka kushukuru Mungu because today you have given PS way to Terry this respect ever by coming to preside over the mass ya PS way to. So bishop we thank you and we thank God for that. Nyi nimeoa kwa nyinyi. Anama kwa nyinyi kwa nyinyi. Nimeoa kwa nyinyi kwa nyinyi. Secretary. We are thanking God also today because during our time when we are alive, we were able to conduct an election in Kenya, a president won, President William Samoy Ruto, and there was no violence. Therefore, this year, we thank God for that because it's one year since the last election and we conducted free and fair election where our president emerged the winner. Yes, Nancy, we have set the bar so high such that anybody in Kenya can contest for presidency when is declared, is sworn in without bloodshed. Therefore, we are not taking it as for granted, but we want to thank God for that. Konana again, Nemevani, Nemi Nemevau, Nemevau, Yamisho. We want to thank you and God also, because now to Kona Uru, Wakanisa, because to Kona Bishop Wetu, Wakanolik. Pia tumepata uhuru wa kisterikali. Because the people of Makueni, through our PS Terry, we feel we are represented in government. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni uhuru ambao tunasikia, tunajifunia. Hile uhuru kidogo, atuchakua nayo, ni uhuru moja. Ya kutoka kwa opposition, kuja kwa serikali. Na leo, pina ni meona watu wamekuja kwa function ya Terry. Na mukendelea hivyo, bisho wa katuombea, prime cabinet secretary, deputy president, na president mukija huku, na tukufanyawa tu, watu wetu mandela. Mkuje makuweni, mkuje tena, mutume teni, natufanyi mambo yore ya kuleta maendeleo Hili watu wetu watoke kwa hiyo kombozi, hiyo ya kuwa slaves, wa opposition, wakue, wakona uhuru, wakua kwa zarekali Because kwa zarekali, diyo kuna maendeleo Kwa isu mbingi, your excellency, tafadhali Barabara ya imali, kuja uote, hiyo ni hile kitu watu wanalilia Hiyo tukipata, tunashukuru mungu, atutendelea God bless you. Thank you very much. Asante, to begin my coffee. Your Excellency, I've given you now a village to be given. What you are going to do, what you are zuri, that you are to empower and your time. Now, but Kabla si jamu itam ne nadi na ifota. Nifanya matangazo matatu. Number one, Your Excellency tukona Kaiti Pastors Fellowship. Wachungaji miyatano wamekuja kumsupport PS. Wasimame wapunge mikono. Tuwashagilie kabisa wachungaji wetu. Asante sana.
Vide vide your excellency kuna donations ambazo zimeahidiwa hapa na nimefahamishwa kwamba if you have the donation ready with you unaweza kuweka kwa kikapu hiki. So our PSCs wale wote wameahidi wakati hopes alikuwa hapa head of public service tafadhali feel free. Mwisho kabisa honorable Ben Mwasia just say hi. Honorable Ben Mwasia pia amepewa kazi na mheshimiwa rais wacha tuambie ni gani kwa dakika moja. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, Prime CS, Madam P.S. Terry, P.S.C. CSs, and Uma Kaiti. Mweaseo, Mweini Moseo, we now on there, that data wa Mwasia, Mwasia Mutiso, Numete Kitui, Kitui West. Now on gamete na chama cha UDA, tamubunge Kitui West, na kura si adela si apasia makuya ondo asua ke mane ikwe is excellent the president anenga mwana wa otoko maselikali oyu ni commissioner commissioner katika commission on revenue allocation CRA uh, i apologize for coming late uh, i had a wedding for my nephew lakini nikasema lazima nikuje kumshukuru Mungu na watu wa Kaiti kwa kumshikilia dada yetu Terry na kushukuru Mungu pia kwa mvua na yale yote mengine asanteni sana Thank you very much. And now, Your Excellency, I invite Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, MP Kibwezi West, ili yaweze kuatambua wabunge wale wengine mba wako hapa, iwapo wapo. Kwane kamuja. Waziri Mkuu wa Jamuri ya Kenya, Right Honorable Musalia Mudavadi Alas Madividi, Jerry Mbaika ambaye ndiye ametukusanisha hapa rafiki yangu waziri Moses Kuria waziri Penina Malonza viongozi wote ambao wamekuja na Nduma Kaiti Mwia ni Moseo na mabinda on there Hello ni muombeuga na ni muombeuga tu yaze Mwia ni Moseo na kwa wewe ndio Mwia yadhukie huko Kaiti Ndiye amu ya ini museo no munda byaka na amu ya ini museo na wasia munene amu ya ini museo Ama vinda on the Aya kwange ditu bana kana amu ya ini museo amu ya ini museo asanteni sana Bishop wetu thank you very much for a very good homily today Najua mimi napenda sana sana kutafuta fununu mahali unafanya mas nitokee hapo nisikize na niende na leo nilipata fununu kwamba utafanya mas hapa Kaiti na pia nikapata mwaliko kutoka kwa Teresia na nikasema nitakuja kwa wale ambao watujuani mimi naitwa Mwengi Mutuse bunge amechaguliwa chini ya chama cha maendeleo chapchap muungano wa Kenya kwanza katika Kibwezi West constituency Kibwezi West ni moja ya constituency sita za Makueni County na mimi ndiyo mbunge peke yake katika kaunti ya Makueni mwenye amechaguliwa katika mrengo wa serikali. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya viongozi wale wamechaguliwa nataka ni wakaribishe Makueni. Pili kabla ni nene nilete pole zake mbunge wa Mwana na ambaye pia ni katibu mtendaji wa chama cha UDA Mheshimiwa Vincent Kawaya yuko Rwanda amesema tupeane pole zake. Bunge wa Kangundo, party leader wa chama cha GDDP Growth and Development Party of Kenya, Mheshimiwa Fabian Chule pia amesema tupeane pole zake mmezipokea. Bunge wa Kitui East, Bunge Nimrod Mbai, Bunge wa Stima mwenye anajua kuchapa makofi Stima inatokea haraka haraka pia amesema tulete pole zake mmezipokea. Bunge wa Kitui South, Bunge Naibu wa Speaker, Bunge wa Kitui South, Mheshimiwa Recho Kaki amesema pia tulete pole zake na wabunge wengine wengi zaidi. Niseme kwamba tunataka tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu haya yote hata teri kuonekana na Mheshimiwa Rais kupewa kiti ilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Na leo wakati bishop alikuwa na ubiri ametufundisha kwamba lazima tukue watu wa kunyenyekea. 
akatufundisha kwamba wakati wa kiburi umepitwa sasa ni wakati wa kunyanyakea na kwa hivyo tunataka tunyanyakee Mwenyezi Mungu tuseme thank you very much for choosing Terry na ukaonyesha Mheshimiwa Rais na ukamweka mafikra ya kufanya Terry kuwa PS Pili tumshukuru kwa sababu nikiwa mbunge na nikiwa wakili I know the rule of relevance anajua leo ni siku ya Terry Pili tuseme kwamba Mheshimiwa Rais kwa niaba ya viongozi wa makueni kutoka Kibwezi East kutoka Kibwezi West ambapo mimi nimechaguliwa kama mbunge kupitia makueni constituency Kilome constituency hapa Kaiti na Mboni we are very grateful to you Mheshimiwa William Ruto for appointing our sister to be a permanent secretary in your government kwa sababu ukweli ni kwamba na umepatia na tumeona wengi hapa ukweli ni kwamba viti zinafuatana na kura hata mimi nikiunda mambo yangu kamati ya CDF naangalia mahali nilipata kura nyingi hapo ndio natoa chama ama namna gani lakini mheshimiwa rais hakupata kura nyingi makueni and even without those votes ameonyesha upendo na ametupa watu wetu wakawa katika serikali yake and so we thank you for giving us positions tatu tuseme kwamba mheshimiwa ma DVD Thank you for coming to be with us today in the ceremony of our sister. Tunajua ukiwa waziri mkuu wa Kenya kuna watu wa Mandera walitaka uende huko. Kuna watu wa Kisumu walitaka uende huko. Kuna wengine wako Lamu huko kwa rafiki yangu wa Buu walitaka uende huko. Kuna wengine kila mahali Kenya na huko na mahali umetoka kunaitwa Viiga. Walipia labda walitaka leo kuwe na wao huko nyumbani. Lakini in that very busy schedule Waziri mkuu wa nchi ya Kenya akaamua atakuwa in a small village God Mukuyuni ndio usherekee na sister yetu anaitwa Terry Mbaika ni heshima sio heshima haya tumpigie kwa moja basi msaidi akakaa Mwisho tukimalizia ni kusema kwamba tunajua mahali tumetoka tunajua mahali tuko na tunajua mahali tunaenda ile mbaya ni mtu mwenye adui njia sisi tunajua mahali tumetoka tunajua mahali tuko na tunajua mahali tunaenda mahali tumetoka huko mbeleni tulikuwa na kiongozi Mulu Mutisia tulikuwa na kiongozi Paul Ngei hao viongozi katika serikali ya Kenyata walikuwa wanatuweka ndani Mheshimiwa Moi miaka 24 mawaziri wa kitangazo 20 mawaziri wa tano makueni wawili machakos wawili huko kwingine ikakuja ikafika mahali ambapo ndiyo tuko sasa tukakuwa sisi wengine wakienda pande hii na ambao ndio ile nchi ya asali ya serikali sisi tunaenda pande hii kando na serikali nataka tutangaze mahali tunaenda where we are going tuko wengi na tutatembea kila mahali tueleze watu wetu ukweli hello ndo baka hiti ni muumbiwa ukweli ni kwamba Mheshimiwa William Ruto alishinda kura when he was most disadvantaged. Kulikuwa na rais wa Kenya. Kulikuwa na prime minister wa kitambo wa Kenya. Kulikuwa na naibu wa rais wa kitambo wa Kenya. Na William Ruto alikuwa peke yake in the wilderness. Ye akasema ni Mungu na wananchi. Na akashinda hiyo kura. Hello. Sasa mtu mwenye alishinda akiwa huko nje akashinda akiwa huko nje kwa msitu na sasa yeye ndiyo wako ndani na wale walikuwa ndani wakati huo wako nje hata hata ukitumia mafikira gani itawezekanaje jameni kama niliwashinda nikiwa nje na sasa mimi ndiyo niko ndani muniangushe hello kwa hivyo nataka nitabiri mahali tunaenda mahali tunaenda ni kwamba kwa sababu mimi nimechaguliwa mimi sitaongea hiyo mimi yangu ni ya siasa mahali tunaenda ni watabirie watu wa kaiti ni siwatabirie baada ya miaka tatu kutakuwa na kura. Na katika hiyo kura kutakuwa na kura ya urais. Katika kura ya urais kuna kuanga na farasi na kuna kuanga na punda. Raila ndio alitueleza hivyo. Kutakuwa na farasi mmoja anaitwa William Ruto na hiyo ndio farasi wa kushinda. Na kutakuwa na mwingine anaitwa Raila na kama ilivyo kawaida yake ataanguka. Hello. Kwa hivyo ile siasa kunafanywa hapa ati mnaambiwa hii kura inakuja fulani fulani atasapotiwa na fulani fulani hiyo msahau. Siasa ya Kenya sio siasa ati wewe ai tu 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 kuye
kwa unenge kivila ni ya kujiombea ama na mnakani andu mbako yumbo muka anzi ya mwina mutiani ni mwisa kwa zemu ya nengwe likenji ya mutiani mwia ini museo ni mwana mwengi wa mutuse ilikuwa ni mepeana pole zake ndugi yangu nimrod na hamefika sababu hametoka kitui kwa hivyo tumpigia kofi moja nimrod mbani halo kwa hivyo nataka ni waulise kwa unye nyekevu asa nyinyi watu wa kaiti Mumewanyeshwa heshima kubwa na mheshimiwa rais akawapatia kiti ya PS. Na kwa hivyo na nyinyi mkifanywa vizuri ni vizuri pia yule amewafanyia vizuri mumrudishie mkono. Kweli si kweli. Sisi kama jamii tunajua kwamba uzuri unalipwa kwa uzuri. Mtu hawezi kukufanyia kitu nzuri alafu na wewe umfanyie kitu mbaya. Na nyinyi watu wa kaiti zaidi ya wale wengine wote katika kaunti ya Makweni. You have been given the greatest honor. Ile kiti kubwa ya Makweni imetoka hapa kweli. Na kwa hivyo kama kuna mahali rais anafai kuwa na mapingamizi. Hello. Ni hapa kaiti. Kwa sababu pia rais anasikiza ground. Anauliza hii kiti nilipeana mkuyuni iko na iko na faida ama haina faida. Na Mungu anakebela kichwa ka kebwezi ende. Ni Mungu anakebela kichwa ka kebwezi. Ni Mungu usubi akebela kichwa atere wa baika. Kebela cha atere wa baika ni Mungu mieni chenu cha kuka hiti na chama kuende hiyo mbe. Na tele wa baika hapo kwa mena mwengi nikaenda baso be mbai. Alabe kwa zetele na mwengi mbako kwa mwengi mbako kwa mwengi mbako kwa mwengi Mwisho, tuwe mina, alo Sababu naona niko na muda ya kusema hiyo Tumesikia mambo mingi na nivizuri niseme hii Sababu na hiyo na waziri mkuu hako hapa Fitina na porojo, propaganda Hile inatembea kenya mzima kwa sababu this is a national platform Ni kwamba Garama ya maisha imepanda. Na ni kweli hakuna mtu yote aliye ndani ya serikali na nimemsikiza rais vizuri ambaye anasema kwamba gharama ya maisha haijapanda. Lakini tunataka tuulizane mambo ya ukweli because we are also to be factual. Mimi nilipiga kampeni juzi tu tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 mwaka uliopita. Na nilikuwa naenda soko na nunulia watu mahindi. Nikinunua kilo moja ya mahindi nilikuwa nanunua 75 to 80 shillings. Leo wakati nilikuja nimeenda hapa mkuyuni. Kilo moja ya mahindi nikaambiwa ni 45 na bali pana usu wa pesa nyingi ni 50 shillings. Kweli? Mahindi ya jatarebuka? Mwea ini museo? Na mabili na onde? 60, 60, 60, 60, 0. Mesamba 60, 0. Halo, na ni kusema kwamba, tunajua kwamba garama ya maisha hiko juhu. Lakini rais mwenyewa mejitolea na sisi tukua viongozi ambao tumechaguluwa na wanainchi, tunajitolea kusema kwamba ni lazima turudishe garama ya maisha chini. Ndugu zetu walio katika upinzani ni raisi sana kupinga. Kupinga ni raisi kwa sababu kupinga ni kusema spendi. Lakini kupanga ndiyo mambo yende mbele hapo ndiyo kizungu mkuti. Na tunataka tushukuru raisi kwa sababu tulipata raisi mwenye kona mufu. Raisi mwenye siwa kuzimia. Raisi mwenye siwa kuanafanya kazi. Ivo ni kusema kwamba hivi karibuni. Garama maisha itakuwa chini na wanainchi watu wa Kenya. Watafrai na tasonga mbele. Ni mbea mbuna wana maka iti. Na mwe inamu wadhime na sube ingi mila cha teri mbaika. Mbuna kene choki mila galaki mbuna mbae. Na kaiti. Thank you very much. Imot. Oka. Ano yame. Mbuna 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 Asante sana my brother Mheshimiwa Mwangi Mutuse Egomas eh nimeona kwa heshima ya Prime Minister Your Excellency Mwe Wikili Musalia Mudawadi mgeni wetu wa heshima leo eh PS Tarimbaika nimeona tuko na mawaziri eh nimeona ndugu yangu Waziri Moses Puria waza wakwa eh amejaribu amefika mtaani viongozi wa serikali wote tulio kwa hapa anomei tu atongo ima kanisa atongo ima kila kindu 
Bitikili jambe Trambo rungi angai mubea Nundu siyade na mabinda ni siya yoba Mwainda dayo Nuge dea chundua yoba Nuge dea nuiba Lakini kaina na kibangie Tutakisi Na kukomania Kindu chakeli Mumbiti kitia Ni muke dea situa niya yesu Mwayaseo Tuge dea ni muya ni museo Mabinda onze Asante Kwa jina kwa sababu naona tuko na wageni wengi na junikana kama ni mrodi mbai Mimi ni mungunge wa Kutri East Ni mejaguliwa kwa chama cha UDA Ambayo ni chama ambayo imepea mweshimi wa teri mbai kwa kazi Mwenda daiwe Anaden Halu Kana UDA diye nenge ya teri mbai kwa ya Na diye za kuhitu ni mrodi mbai Na diyo uziotu wa ete Watu wa kaiti Najua nyinyi ni watu mmekuwa kwa serikali miaka mingi. Mulikuwa na mheshimiwa Ndambuki, alikuwa kwa serikali ya Moi. Kwa hivyo nyinyi ni watu mnajua kukaa kwa serikali na kukaa na serikali. Kana nadeni? Ni mwezi nini si ni mwezi kwa kala kwa ndo mato na serikali uko. Na nyinyi na muona hapa kwa mheshimiwa Ndambuki, mzuri wa serikali. Mwenda tayo. Na suho mwena serikali Inakana kamudoro Kana adeni? Kana mwena yo? Kana adeni na kana? Kamudoro Kena mwene? Ie? Kana ni murodie kemindo? Na hundu kwa hundu mwema nuzu vya ngatua kwa kitu kitu east Kana adeni? Nambe kwenye la mambo kutuku mwa Yo Excellency Siyesi taka kuongea mambo mengi Naona masai meenda na mawingu Inaonyesha dalili ya mfua Mimi ni mengangana Kesho niku na rambi kwangu Abayo Deputy President ya Raguja Nimekua ni kipanga panga Lakini nikuwa ni lazima nifike Kwa function ya mwishimiwa Terimbaika Na mungu wa menisaidia nimefika Tulikuwa hapa pia wakati ya campaign Tukazunguka hapa na Rice William Ruto Hakuwa Deputy President Terry akiwa anatafuta kiti Na mungu akamujalia Akapata kiti Kana Terry ndaha kwa atakibila Kila jie mieti wa kiija yu wa Lakini kaya muadhima na kingi Na suotu iba hatu dunge kai mubea Nataka kushukuru dada yangu mwashimu wa Terry Mahombi ni marabili Kuna hombi la kuomba upate Na kuna hombi la kushukuru Watu wengi tunakumbuka kuomba tupate Lakini tukipata tunasau kushukuru Leo teri ya metuonyesha muongozo Ya kwamba ni mzuri urudi kushukuru Na mzuri pia zaidi urudi kushukuru ukiwa nyumbani maadu mezaliwa Kana adeni? Chuzio ona Yesu, ozi awa, yosebu, na malia, maazio kete kwa maatalwe. Kana mwezi? Na teri ilawe ndi yotunga mubea, nana yotunga ilobi, nana yotunga setaus, oki yotunga ya vamo kwa yoni. Kana kaike itena ya zaka huu? Mwika kune ya kobi. Namba tu, mweshimi wa teri, Anatosha Ile kiti alikuwa naomba Anatosha Kwa hivyo mwishimua dada yangu Nataka kukuomba I know as a lady you can give up Don't Don't give up Don't give up Don't give up Usijaribu Kuthi hundu kweza kuthi Kwa ni kwa kuthi ana Fanya kazi ya wili ya muruto Ikifika mahali, rudi kwa hawa watu wa makuwene hapa, hapa mkuyune kaiti. Mwazi hazi oge? Hazi oge ingi? Muka mwega mindo? Kya woja ando ima? Teka kya hazi ana zioli kani umu? Andu, ando maa kaiti nidu kwa eliano? Mwaya teri hazi oge ingi siola, uwe ya kika hathali kana? Mumuwe madha Lakana Akeze ya nana nimurud Kenda mdo zube mbae Mwenda taiwe 
Neno yangu ya mwisho your excellency. Na nafurahi naongea mheshimiwa Moses Kuria akiwa hapa. Na nataka niseme haya kwa Kiswahili na niaseme kwa Kikamba. Na sasa kwanza nataka nianze kwa Kikamba. Kana tu sio tu nena ndo mwitu. Nye ni mwana mukamba mumute nje ndo kuchawa. Ndio kana mwitu. Ni kana kana na dio kwa rara. Mama itabe bu 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 bu. Kana rende. Nande kuna mbongeze bu. Na nomie muti ngodi lobi nende de wiani. Nena miaka 10 na genda ngono umie muti. Nendi lobi nena miaka 10 na genda. Kowe dabe mundu mukamba nenda edo ani murodu ambai. Yani mundu dagi ni lobi. Maka bi miaka 10 na genda. Ndi mukamba nenda. Kana rende. Yo andu Choni chao twende zidana Inyo tando twende zijao muzo tu kulani tando twende zijao nonu begi ndu twende zie nye ta mwana mukamba nenene te na ngwendo kene ni aba mumbie kulongo kwenda kwanza ndi nuka numa ba kwa cha Enda tu kwa riani demwe Nitwe ne woki kila mundu wonde we na kiniko no no nie kibela jo sumbe ndu ke no siwe kana mwe no nie igi mona wala wa yubije wota kibela jo sumbe monye ta we na ngwe na wota kibela ke na ndu alo na be nie kibela nya bana be no kibela jo sumbe megi dada mwana wa kinata azalukitie usumbe na ri akwada nite na mwana wa odinga usumbe na ri
na uru walikuwa rais na akasema rudu eh, 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 raila apigiwe na watu wakakataa lakini sisi hapa tukiambiwa tupige tunapiga tu tupige tunapiga tu tumepiga mwaka 20 tukaanguka imefika wakati tusome kutoka kwa ndugu zetu wa Mount Kenya 2027 tuambiwe tupige kura hapa na tukatae tupige kura mali inapaswa kupigwa hivi lakika mnaka yake imeneka La kwanza Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe na utuokoe sisi kini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tu stahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa mali ya wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akaona mnyang'anyi alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika ufalme wako. Yesu alimwambia nini? Today you will be with me in paradise. Today sio leo, sio kesho. Na njoo tukepua tunatambua jina la huo mwisi, tungekuwa tumepata hiyo jina kwa sababu tatu hapo ya sio yezi neno. Na nikazema kweli huo mwisi alikuwa mwisi. Akiwa hapa duniani alipo mali ya wengine. Akiwa pale msalabani dakika ya mwisho is all paradise. The only thing with the world. Kule alijulikana alipo paradise. Tunajaribu kusema he is a good thief lakini hakuna there is no good thief who is good. Lakini alipo paradise. Remember me in your kingdom. God telling us that paradise can be stolen again. Tunapo kukalibia mungu. Kumambia Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu kusisi ni watoto kwa wafarme wa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. 
God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As St. Augustine tells us, that God created us for himself. And our hearts are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has tashikiliwa na hawa bunge wakifungua bunge hivi karibuni ni wata jadiliana na watupatie mwelekezo. Lakini nataka pia watu wa ukambani na watu wa eneo hii mnyuulize kwamba ikiwa mheshimiwa Kalonzo ni mwenyekiti kwa hiyo nadko Kimani chungo ni mwenyekiti kwa hiyo nadko Na wao wameweka idhini kwamba haya majadiliano wameweka kwa njia ya pamoja Sasa yule ambaye ama murengo ambao sasa unaleta matata katika hiyo maneno ni murengo ambao ni wajubli kwa hiyo murengo azmi wote Ni kwa nini Uhuru Kenyatta na timu yake sasa hawataki kuheshimu matokeo ambayo yametolewa na wenye kiti wa Kalonzo na Kimani Ichungu What is the double game here Hili ndio swali mimi nataka niwache watu wa eneo hii kwamba why are we be taken in circles Walisema tuongee tuachane na maandamano Wakenya wameongea Upande huu chema ni Kalonzo upande huu chema ni Kimani Chungu Tumekuje pamoja why are they trying to walk away from that effort of bringing people together Tawacha hapo la mwisho bishop Paul J Thank you for being available to grace this occasion and to bless it a sign of respect for madam Teresia da wakati Felix Kosgea alikuwa akiongea hapa akasema kwamba nijitetee waacha mimi nitaongeza pia shilingi 1500 kwa hiyo project ya kanisa ili waendelee mbele na hawa watoto ambao liniimbia uh, sasa wa, wanaenda likizo ama wako kwa likizo tabeana kitu kidogo kwa kila shule na hawa watoto pia wapate soda wakienda nyumba la mwisho tufanye kazi pamoja na tunawatakia heri na fanaka na christmas njema ili tubuke mwaka wa 20 24 tukiwa na usalama na tuanza kujenga taifa ili tupambane na yale ambayo sisi tunajua yako the cost of living gharama ya maisha ni gani tusidanganyane ni gani na tutashirikiana sisi wote hadi tupunguze hiyo shida ili hapo mbele tupate nafuu Na tunaomba tunashukurani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu mvua ndio njia moja ya kutusaidia ili chakula kipatikane kwa watu wetu. So this is an ongoing effort by the government of Kenya na Mungu awabariki. Asanteni sana. Niko na bahasha yangu. Mimi nitapeana ili sasa mkiniruhusu ndio nijaribu kabisa nione kama nitafika eh, kule kwingine. Thank you.
Okay, God bless you all and good luck into next year. And once again, congratulations to Madam Teresa Mbaika. Asante. Tusimame tena mwananchi wa heshima ya mkuu wa mawaziri katika Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavadi ambaye sasa anaondoka na kuelekea katika eneo la Magharibi. Ni tunaweza keti. Ni heshima kubwa kwa Mheshimiwa Musalia kuzungumza na kuturuhusu tuendelee. PSS nafahamishwa kwamba PSS wangependa kuacha shilingi 400 ambazo waliahidi na tunaweza kuweka katika kikapu hiki ambacho kiko hapa mbele tafadhali just feel free and come tuwapigie makofi wanapoleta donation ya kanisa makofi PS wa Hasla Fund anapoleta zote ambazo amebeba siku ya leo Asante sana PS wetu wameleta 400,000 Kenya shillings kwa ajili ya kanisa Asante Basi kabla sija walika mawaziri wazungumze kwa kifupi watoto hawa jamani wanashairi vizuri sana kwa ajili ya Terry tuwape dakika moja wafanye ilo shairi na kisha baada hapo ni mwalike waziri wetu wa tuingie tuingie Mtakuwa na mwalika waziri wetu wa Afrika Mashariki vile vile maeneo kame na maendeleo ya kimaeneo ambaye ni waziri Penina Malonza baadaye ndio zungumze na amwalike Moses Kuria Karibuni
Congratulations kwa kifaransa sasa leo umeongea kifaransa sante basi ngedio tu heshima PS Terry wakati huu naomba ni mwalike waziri wetu wa Afrika Mashariki vile vile maeneo kambe na maendeleo ya kimaeneo mtoto mkamba mheshimiwa Penina Malonza amwalike pia waziri mwenzake na aseme machache alafu nitarejea tufunge wapi makofi ya waziri Penina Malonza sana MC mheshimiwa wetu uh, uh, mkuu leo madam Teresia Mbaika uh, kabla sijamwalika mwenzangu hapa uh, nimepewa ujumbe nilioshika mkononi na waziri mkuu alipokuwa hapa ameongea akatoa mchango wake wa herfu tano ambayo itaenda kwa kanisa na vile vile akasema atawapa watoto waliotoa shairi la mada uh, na wale wengine walioweza kutuimbia uh, fedha kidogo ili wakahese kunywa remember me in your kingdom god telling us that paradise can be stolen again tunapokaribia mungu Kumbia Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Kwa sababu, sisi ni watoto kwa wafarme wa mungu. Weak as we are, strong as we are. God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last, he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunapo mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God looking at how God has blessed us. How God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Tunajaribu, lakini anayana kamungia wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Suji okoe, na utu okoe sisi. Lakini ule mungina kasema kwe. Sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuwa staini. Tumetenda rambi, tumeiba amali ya wengine. But this one has not committed any crime. Halimuangalia Yesu, hakuona mnyangani. Halimuangalia Yesu, hakaona mvalwe. Mwana na mwesimua mbaika, viongozi wete wa serikali, na watu wote wa hapa kaiti na makueni baitu mweaseo mweaseo inge mwea ini mweaseo na mafida othe na umu ya tanu hata mini mefurai kuti hapa unajua 
hii ni safari ya pili kuja hapa kaiti ilikuwa hapa miaka kama mbili na nusu imepita tukakuja hapa na aliyekuwa wakati huo naibu wa rais na tukakuja hapa tukafanywa ibada na na bishop kimo hapa hapa mkuyuni bahari tuko na tukasema ya Mungu ni mengi tutarudi hapa tukiwa na serikali kama naongea uongo adrenaline mwao ulikuweko na unakumbuka naye Mungu ni nani sasa kumwambia Lord remember me in your kingdom kwa sababu sisi ni watoto wa mfalme wa Mungu weak as we are strong as we are God did not create us for hell. He created us for heaven. As in the last he tells us that God created us for himself. And our heart are restless until they rest in him. Pasi tunako mshukuru mwenye si mungu ni kwa sababu yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. Yale mema mungu anayo tutendea. We learn to thank God, looking at how God has blessed us, how God has elevated us, not because we merit, but because of the love of God. No one merit is because of the love of God. Yes, we can have on our side effort. Ya wewe kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu si ujiokoe na utuokoe sisi lakini ule mwingine akasema we sisi tuko hapa msarapani kwa sababu tuastahili tumetenda rambi tumeipa mali wengine but this one has not committed any crime alimwangalia Yesu akuona mnyang'ani alimwangalia Yesu akaona mfalme na akamwambia nini Remember me in your kingdom Remember me in your Ukiona mpaka ya Kibwezi West abia mtuse toka Chukua hiyo hata yote tunamekuruhusu Na nimesikia ile story umepitia Na hiyo kutoka hiyo jitini mpaka pale baraka zako ziko mbele Kwa hivyo kanyangia hapa watu wa makueni nimeona hapa viongozi wamepiga raini wale wamepoa kwanza tukasema MCA ambao wako na kasikia wengi wao ni nominated nominated hapa pale nikaona walikuwa kama watano wa sita huyu muteti akasema wale wamepoa kazi na wili ya muruto wasimame nikaona wamesimama watu kumilatana Yaani wale ambao mpaka nominated ni sita. Wale ambao wamepoa kazi na William Ruto ni 15. Jamani sio mtu ni mtu mzuri jamani. Hata kama hamkuchagua viongozi hapa na mlengo wetu wa UDA na Kenya kwanza bado William Ruto akaenda akakusanya viongozi wote akapawa kazi. Na ni kwa sababu yeye aliahidi ya kwamba hatutaendesha hii Kenya kwa misingi ya nani alichagua nani si atamefurahi sana vile amkupa mpea kula na amesema akawapatia punishment akawaadhibu na ile punishment ambaye amesema akawapatia ni kuwafanyia kazi mpaka mshangae hata kama hamkupia bora nimesikia hapa tuko na chairman wa irrigation national irrigation authority CEO ako hapa mama yetu lejina ndiye chair wa tanadi mambo yake ya kilimo na mambo ya maji nyinyi watu wa makueni iko mikononi mwenu na mimi ndio kuhakisha hapa kuhakishia kwamba kazi ya chini ya William Ruto tutaendelea kufanya kazi kuwapatia wakamba maji hata hizo barabara mnataja nitaongea na ndugu yangu Mulkomen huyu Teresia Mbaika na kina Mutuse wanatupatia hiyo orodha yote 
nikae chini na Mulkomen nikae chini na waziri wetu Njero tuhakikishe ya kwamba shida ya maji hapa Makueni is a thing of the past na pia hatuwezi kuwa sasa hii tunalia watu wetu wanakufa kwa mafuriko baada ya mafuriko tunakufa na ukame hiyo ni kuroho ama ni nini msimu mmoja tunakufa ukame na ingine tunakufa mafuriko kwa hivyo nataka kuambia hao viongozi wetu wa mambo ya irrigation na watu wa tanadhi tukimaliza hii maneno ya runino tutakuja hapa na mimi ndio nashikilia ile idara ya NYS tukuje hapa tujibe water pumps tuwefanye dam mwisho unajua ni Mungu alikuwa amepanga tukuje hapa nasikia hao vijana wakisema mambo ya basi si ndio vijana wamesema watoto tumesema mambo ya basi tumeongea na umbaika mwezi wa 4 mimi nitakuja hapa mwenyewe niongoze harabi na nikuja na pesa mingi mpaka tununue hiyo basi kwa sababu mimi nataka ku mimi kazi yangu ni kulea hao viongozi sababu hao viongozi ndio tutaachia kesho sisi tukienda nyumbani na huu mbaika mimi nitamshikilia mpaka pale amejifikisha tumpeleke mbele zaidi nasikia rais wetu akisema sisi tuko katika mstari ya mbele kwa maneno ya ajira na nimesikia viongozi wengine wakituingilia ati tutapeleka tunapeleka watoto wetu nje wacha ni waahidi hiyo nje ni afadhali kuliko kukaa hapa kwa shopping center kule si ni kweli kazi ipatikane hapa tutawapatia kazi hapa ipatikane nje tutawapeleka nje kama sasa mimi hii week nimeenda huko na mimi na rais tukaongea na serikali ya Israel wametupatia vijana nafasi 1000 kwenda kufanya kazi tu ya kulimia avocado jamani kulimia avocado hata mimi waziri kama mimi hiyo kazi naweza na kikundi ya kwanza ambao tunatoa pale NYS wiki ijayo nitatuma kikundi ya kwanza ya watoto 100 wewe nikuulize unajua hao watu wanaenda kupewa pesa ngapi mshahara na ni mtu afunfuo peke yake wanapewa shilingi 1220 na mshahara kila mwezi unataka kazi kama hiyo tuache jamani hiyo unataka kazi kama hiyo tuache hata nimepata kama msana hapa na abua nimesema nitafutue kale kana kaka muhasura kabisa kakona kuangana kabisa tukainue wapi wapi huyo Elizabeth eh huyu hayakuja hapa sasa huyu within two weeks atakuwa hizo na atakuwa atakuwa analipwa mshahara ya 220. Mnataka msiana kama huu aende wapi jamani? Huyu alikuwa na si. Na leo hapa hapa mimi siku muona nimeambia baika mbile baika wewe karibu karibu ni Mungu alikuonekania. Baika alikuwa kama anakaa kama huyu ni Mungu alimuonekania. Sasa vile Mungu alimuonekania hata huta huu unampeleka Israel. Na hakuna hata kitu atamlipia kila kitu mpaka tikiti mpaka aende huko ndio kwa mambo baikao mwambie saidi ambaye alishi na ni kwa sababu kazi ipatikane hapa tutaipatia watoto wetu kazi hapa ipatikane huko ngapi na mimi nimesema kwa muda wa miaka miwili huko nje wacha hapa nitatafutia vijana wetu milioni moja kazi waende huko nje yule ambaye hataki aende afunge hapo sababu mimi nikiamua nitafanya 1 million people nitapeleka huko nje na wakienda huko nje waanze kuleta na yule mtu yule mtu ambaye atawapatia kazi hapa mbele ni wapatia kazi huko nje si wapatia mimi ni kosa wakupatia Mungu awabariki Mungu awalinde na tutaendelea kwa pamoja asante sana mheshimiwa wa leo na unajua siku ni yake kuna rafiki yake ametoka kibwesi west na ametembea na ako na neno moja tu ame
nimeuliza haeze kulisema kwa hivyo mimi nitamwachia dakika yangu moja i will donate and then ile ingine mbili umepewa karibu Yeah. 
na kule kwingine na vile vile ni waziri wa maendeleo ya kanda ile tunaita regional development ningependa kusema nitasema mambo mane peke yake kwa sababu muda umeanza kwenda na ninajua tumekaa hapa kwa kikao si haba mheshimiwa teri ningependa kukupongeza kwa juhudi zako za bidii Ni cheo kimoja ningependa vile vile kupongeza rais wetu kwa sababu ni cheo anumaitu kimila chu kina nengiwe mundo muka hama kueni isune ndaya nene na nendo pongeza teri nunuwa bidi yake vile vile ni mpongeze wana yake pamoja na familia yake kwa kumshikilia sisi wa mama tunapo ingia Na 
Sasa tumalizie in style Alafu niseme mali tunakuenda So tunapomalizia Naomba kurecognize tu Apunge mikono alietumwa na Governor Wamachakos Her Excellency Mwishmua wavinya deti Simama ya mwenye kiti tafadhali Punga mkono Chairman pia wakamba professionals Chairman pia wakamba elders Dialikuwa mekunde kumuakilisha Governor at this juncture, naomba tumalizie na county commissioner na vile vile mwenye kiti wa kamati analizi wafiki hapa mbele kwa sababu ya vote of thanks. Mwenye kiti wa kamati analizi ni Jonathan Mbului, fika mbele pamoja na county commissioner ili tumalizie. Na tukimalizia wageni wetu wataondoka in style na hiyo style mimi ndio nitawaonyesha. Sawa sawa. So even as they come I also want to recognize Senator Mbao, umefika kuchelewa lakini tunakupenda sana, asante sana. County Commissioner Jesse Wadu. Thank you very much. Uh, our guests, hata wengine ambao wame ondoka, mawaziri wetu, Madam Penina Malonza, mawaziri Moses Kuria, our host PS and the colleagues PSS, MPs ambao wako nasi, na viongozi wote ambao wameungana nasi siku ya leo e, itakuwa nimevuja protocol vile master of ceremony amesema kwa sababu wakubwa wangu wakiwa washaongea itakuwa ngumu kwangu kuwa na maneno mengi zaidi ya kusema lakini hata kama ni mwisho ni sema mmekaribishwa sana makueni kirasmi mi kwa jina naitwa Moses Gesharu the acting county commission na makueni na kwa niaba ya ofisi ya utawala na ofisi ya usalama 
na waambia muko makueni na muko safe na niambie wale wageni ambao wametoka mbali makueni iko matunda msirudi Nairobi kama hamjaoja na kubeba matunda matamu ya makueni otherwise asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner. Uh, my name is Jonathan Pului. I was the chairman of the Planning and Coordinating Committee, and I'm here to give a vote of thanks. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give thanks to the Almighty God for giving us a very successful occasion. Are you happy? Thank you very much. We are grateful. I also want to thank uh, uh, Terry Baker. Uh, P.S. Uh, Terry Baker for even thinking that it is necessary to give thanks. You know, the theme is uh, based on First Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks. So we are grateful that you thought about that. Let me say that uh, the thought of inviting us, the thought of, you know, that we need to come and have it here is really a great honor. And from me, who has known her for a long time, we are really honored. We are really honored. I also want to thank the senior government officials who are here. We were happy to have the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musalia Mudavadi, the Head of Public Service, Horrible Felix Kosge, uh, CSS, Moses Kuria, who is a truthful man as well. I also want to recognize the presence of my friend, Honorable Pendina Malonza, who was my classmate. It's really nice that uh, you find time to be here. All elected leaders, PSCs, we are grateful that you found her to be here. Uh, we want to appreciate the Makwendi leadership, the administration, the leadership. Uh, we are truly honored. Let me also recognize uh, the Planning and Coordinating Committee. They were already recognized uh, by uh, Honorable Teresi Ambaika. Uh, we are truly honored. I uh, thank you, Mweshmiwa um, Mutuse, for finding time to be part of that committee. Um, uh, we had other people here. We had uh, Stanley Chalo. We had Commissioner uh, Carol Don, who was our treasurer. Thank you very much. You have done a good job. Uh, we have Dr. Mulwa and many others. Have I left out any? Thank you. You have, you have done very well. Liz, who was also coordinating us, she did a fantastic job. Um, as I conclude, let me also appreciate the clergy, uh, His Lordship, the Bishop Kariuki, Paul Kariuki. Thank you for accepting uh, to, uh, to, to preside over this month. Uh, we are truly grateful. The MCs, you have done a fantastic job. We are truly grateful. And the God bless you. Thank you. Asante. Naomba viongozi tuketi kwanza tafadhali kwa heshima ya mkutano huu. Viongozi mnaweza kukacha baadaye. Hatujaomba. So we need to settle down first and finish in an orderly manner. So sasa tunapokwenda kumaliza naomba ni mwite Bishop Paul Kariuki aje mbele afunge kwa neno moja na amwite Reverend Ndusi kutoka Kaiti Pastors Fellowship afunge kwa maombi and after that after that viongozi ambao ni wageni wataondoka na rejection na protocol mahali watakakoelekea lakini watatoka in style kuna bandi kwa hapa karibu bishop basi naomba tusimame tuombe tutaongozwa na askofu kwa sababu mimi niwaongoza kwa ibanda ya misi askofu karibu asante kwa majina yangu ni bishop onesmas mutunga wacha tufunge na maombi wacha tuombe baba wetu na mungu wetu asante bwana kwa kutuba neema na kibali tumekuwa hapa bwana tokea asubuhi tumeona mkono wako wenye nguvu na wenye neema Asante Bwana kwa kila kiongozi, asante kwa mheshimiwa wetu Tenibai, asante kwa rais wetu, asante kwa mawaziri, asante kwa kila kiongozi amezungumza na ameongea mahali hapa. Bwana Yesu tunakuinua, tunakubariki na tunakuheshimu. Tunapotoka hapa na kwema nyumbani, tunaomba neema yako na uweza wako uandamane pamoja nasi. Kwa jina la Kristo Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Thank you.
Asante sana. Basi tutaongozwa na PMC Band. Watapita hapa hadi